my gosh. Okay, so like I said, uh, tonight's going to be a little bit different. We're playing something that we haven't played anything like it before, at least not for a very long time. Um, it's a visual novel. Um, it's called Scarlet Hollow. I've seen like a couple things about it and it looks really good. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, so, but yeah, that's my plan for tonight. Hopefully, uh, you guys like it as much as I think it's going to be really cool. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, we can switch over to it now. We have Mouse who's going to read some of the parts for us too, so that we have a little bit of variety with the voices. And yeah, so we should be good. All right, let's try and start. Okay, hold on. Let me unmute all my stuff. Uh, okay, so he will be back whenever, but as you can see, this is like the art style for it, like it's kind of like black and white, um, it's more like, I don't really know, how would you describe it? Like, I don't know. Like kind of monochrome. Monochrome, okay, yeah, monochrome, that works. Uh, so like that, but I think it looks really cool. I'm like super excited to play this, so I think it'll be, I think it'll be pretty good. Uh, so, but yeah, let me make sure all my stuff sent out correctly. Hold on. Um, um, um. It looks like it did. Perfect. Okay. So we should be all set. Let me just. Switch to that, and we're good. Oh, hi, puppy. Oh, my, my puppy just woke up. Hello, sir. How are you? Oh, he's so cute. I swear to gosh. Okay. Uh, also, the screen looks a little bit different tonight because I had to try and, like, fit everything onto one screen. Not as easy as you might think. So hopefully it looks okay. Um, if not, it won't look this way forever. <laughs> so I promise. Um, but the whole point is for us to, like, be reading it to you, uh, so theoretically you shouldn't have to read it, like, too much, so, but anyway, so we can get started whenever you're ready, you just let me know. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so we just arrived at the town we're trying to get to, it's called Scarlet Hollow. There was a family death. We are uh, here for the funeral. That's the whole point. We got invited, and that's, like, literally the whole point. That's all that's happened up to this point. Like, literally nothing else. So, uh, for this, it's, you know, starting at the beginning. Um, so, the bus finally comes to a stop. It breaks, squealing, uh, as it deposits you in front of Scarlet Hollow bus station. Uh, let me actually make sure that I have the volume. Yeah, it should be good. Okay. I just want to make sure. Okay. Uh, the sign at least reads bus station, but calling it that feels disingenuous. Uh, at best, it's a kiosk. Uh, though for a small town like this, you're amazed there's so much uh, as a road, uh, let alone a bus that drives on it every week. <laughs> All right. Pretty photo. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I think the bus is leaving. <laughs> uh, the driver quickly <laughs> shuts the door behind you uh, and starts the engine, kicking up dust clouds as he pulls away, eager to leave you and this place behind. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm super psyched about it. Okay, this is our family. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, Sukari. You instantly recognize the worn woman uh, from the few public photos on her Facebook page. She's your cousin. Tabitha, and she looks annoyed to be here. No, she really does. She looks pissed. Uh, uh, let's Pretty gross. Here. Stop. Yeah. Uh, okay, so there, we got like multiple options. That's also like a whole point to it is like you get to decide how the story goes with like the things that you say. So uh, let's see here. Looks like somebody needs a hug. Probably not. Uh, just hey, give her your condolences. Remain. So I mean, I would say I'm sorry. Like her mom died. Uh, I'm so sorry for your loss, Tabitha. Yes, great, thank you. All right, great. <laughs> uh, let's get back to the estate. I don't want to spend any more time down here than I have to. Ugh. Your cousin I'm turns and motions to an old BMW parked near the bus kiosk. <laughs> uh, you follow her, clamoring into the dusty relic. And then there we go. Now we're done. Now we're away from the bus station. Goodbye, bus station. Goodbye, bus station. 
it doesn't take much driving before the only signs of civilization are the car you're in and the road you're on. Tabitha maintains an icy silence as she focuses on the road. Let's see, okay, here we go. Tip, dialogue options uh, labeled explore can usually be taken without advancing the story. Oh, that's good to know. Uh, they can impact relationships and unlock additional story paths, so choose wisely. Good to know. Okay, so don't yep. fuck yourself over. Okay. <laughs> um, don't just press it because you can, I uh, guess. Is the... So tempting, though. <laughs> so tempting. <laughs> um, okay, so more options. How are you holding up? I guess we're both members of the Dead Moms Club now. Oh my god. Uh, so the funeral, I can't believe we've never actually met before. I mean, I feel like I can't believe we've never met our own cousin. I feel like that's kind of weird. Like, and now we're here? For that some is reason? a little weird. Yeah, like, what? That's what I'm saying. Uh, I can't believe we've never actually met before this. <laughs> uh, you have your mom to thank for that. Or had, I guess. What a bitch! Can you yeah, not a big that? tap man over here. Oh my god! Can you believe that? Can you imagine saying that? Like, someone's trying to be nice and just, like, conversational, and you're just like, ha, your mom's dead, by the way. <laughs> like, Oh, and, like, man. her mom just died, too. That, too. <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? Um, <laughs> so I picked, you have to pick two traits uh, before mm -hmm. you start the game, and I picked, um, it's like when you enter your name and stuff like that, so I picked Mystical, which is basically, like, you're able to, uh, like sense how people are feeling and stuff like that and like maybe like perceive things a little bit more deeply than like other people and I don't know where this is going to come into play but I'm fucking psyched about it talking to animals <laughs> I, I am psyched, that one. I am there, psyched. There was no yes. chance you wouldn't yeah no no I am psyched for whatever that comes uh, as an option I am super excited I don't know who I'm going to get to talk to but like hopefully a dog because that is like Obviously, I would love to talk I mean, to a dog. <laughs> dreams. Yeah, yeah like, basically. Life yeah. goals. Exactly. Uh, so, but because I picked Mystical, uh, it says, you can feel the same careless cruelty in Tabitha's words that your mother would use when she talked about uh, Perlan and the old Scarlets. I would imagine, don't quote me on this, I would imagine that Perlan is Tabitha's mom, maybe? Yeah, probably. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, and the old Scarlets, so I guess... Maybe our last name is Scarlet, too? And, oh, do we own this town or something? Uh, the wound that tore your family apart runs deep enough that it bled through the generations. Okay, so, I am not saying this. I can sense a deep scar in our bloodline. She would probably <laughs> open the door and kick me out. Oh my god. I would not blame her. <laughs> no, me either. That's so fucking weird. Um, let's see here. That was unnecessary. I mean, it's true. Uh, is there bad blood between us? I wish I'd known about you. Haha, <laughs> yeah, Dead Moms Club! <laughs> okay, if this was high school, haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dead Moms Club, absolutely. But I feel like in this sure. case, I would probably, like, wish I had known about her, because it sounds like I didn't know she existed, to be honest. So Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> um, I don't know why Mom left uh, or what kind of grudge she had against the side of the family, but I'm sorry. I wish I'd known about you whatever what's done is done listen tabitha what the fuck <laughs> um okay so so the funeral i don't really want to say the dead bombs club thing i feel like that's not helpful um i'll ask how you're holding up uh so how are you holding up fine <laughs> uh let's see here you know you can talk to me right i lost my mom too okay but if it ever changes, da da da. <laughs> Phew, Ooh, that's good, good to hear. hear. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like, oh, I believe that. That makes perfect sense. Oh, I'm sense. so glad. <laughs> I was worried. Yep. Now I'm now I'm totally chill about it. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll say this. This is the most like considerate thing I feel like. Uh, you know, you can talk to me, right? I know we only just met, but you know, I went through something similar with my own mom. So if you ever need to vent, or I'm good. <laughs> Okay, Tabitha. Um, yeah, time to, time to leave Tabitha to herself, I guess. I know. Um, so I don't want to say the Dead Moms Club thing. I just don't. I just don't want to say that. Yeah, no, um, that's probably for the best. Yeah, I'm going to ask about the funeral just because that's why we're here. Uh, we are literally here. Yeah, that makes here. sense from like a logistics 
yeah standpoint like that's it we are just here for that so so the funeral uh so the funeral it's on sunday right yep like i told you <laughs> oh jesus <laughs> um geez that's almost a whole week need any help planning have you worked out the details yet wait that's almost a whole week what oh jeez. what the fuck why what <laughs> are we here a why week we early? So early yeah what uh i'll ask about the, the, the details uh have you worked out all the details yet mm-hmm taken care of don't need any help okay <laughs> uh Okay, do I, say the, do, I, do I just say the Dead Moms Club thing <laughs> at this point? Because they're not taking it away. I mean, at this point, you've just talked to her about every single other thing. So, like... <sighs> yeah, I guess I can make the dark joke. Okay, okay. Uh, I guess we're both members of the Dead Moms Club now, huh? Your cousin turns to stare at you, and I see hatred in her eyes. <laughs> Maybe this would have... <laughs> Worked to ease the tension if she were someone else, but she isn't. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Fair. Uh, she turns back to the road, her expression cold and unforgiving. I'm gonna just shut the fuck up then. Uh, you decide to sit I mean, in silence with your you cousin. You for sure before you said that, so it's not yeah. like a... That's that's rough though, man. Like I didn't think she was gonna be like, I don't know. I, I just didn't think she would just be that quietly like, stare at you. Yeah, like fuck you, but just like I hate you so much with my eyes. Like, I don't know. I just didn't expect that. I guess. Um, yeah. BB, what are you doing? He wants to be under the blanket, but he won't be under the blanket. Like, sir, I'm I'm rooting sure. for you. <laughs> I'm rooting for you. <laughs> anyway. You can make it. Uh, hey, patron, how are you? Okay, so, uh, sit in silence, uh, with your cousin as the car eases up the steep mountain road. Okay, sir, I'm, I swear to God, BB, <laughs> be, be under the blanket. Life is not that complicated as a dog, I promise. I, I promise. <laughs> um... And here it is, the Scarlet Estate. Uh, though it's seen better days, its crumbling elegance is not lost on you. Uh, someone used to uh, cramped apartments in gray cities. This thing is about to fall off the cliff. We are gonna die. Yeah, this is <laughs> condemned territory. <laughs> yeah, like, we're gonna die if we live in... Oh my god. Who? Hopefully you don't get a balcony speed. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> At that point, we can just sleep at the bottom of, like, the ravine or whatever is over that cliff. Like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. um, your mother told you about this place many times before she passed, always with uh, an anger burning beneath her words. It's the poor architecture. Um, <laughs> the... Like, they made me sleep just over a cliff. <laughs> that's totally fair. That's completely fair. You know what? Listen, actually, that's completely fair. Um... <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Uh, the faded majesty uh, you once imagined doesn't quite compare with what's in front of you. A jarring blend of opulence and ruin. Uh, as you stare at it perched on the crumbling cliffside, you can't help but feel like it's something that should have been left to rot a long, long time ago. Well, we're right then. That's good, because that's what I was fucking thinking. <laughs> Absolutely. Because nope. um, that's fucking rough. Uh... Let's see here. You're hit with a blast of dusty air as you step across the threshold and into the foyer. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so bad. Um, everything in this room has been here for much longer than you've been alive. Each object cemented in place with layers of dust and cobwebs. You can hear doors creak on their hinges and the aches and moans of ancient floorboards as the house itself sways in the wind. <laughs> Tabitha. Um, welcome to our family's humble estate. Unfortunately, due to the current state of the house, only a few rooms will be safely accessible during your stay. I wouldn't go wandering anywhere else if you value your limbs. The floors have been known to give out. Uh, if you know what's good for you, you'll stick to your room, your bathroom, and the kitchen, and hallways, I guess. Um, but only the hallways you need to use to get to those places. 
Uh, I'll show you around uh, so you know where it's safe to walk. You can leave your bags here for the time being. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, we're gonna die. Um, <laughs> holy shit. Ooh, cool, thanks. Uh, so you live here. It's beautiful. Well, I'm not lying. It's not beautiful. Um, this place is falling apart. I thought y'all were loaded. Can't you afford to fix this dump? Remain silent. Whoo, probably not that. That seems like a bad idea. <laughs> um, ooh. Well, I mean, she'd probably be happiest if you don't say anything. I but... know, right? Like... But that's also a way to get no information. Yeah, like... I mean, obviously she lives here. Like, that's a stupid thing to say. Like, obviously yeah. she lives here. Um, Clearly. Cool, thanks. I feel like it's not super helpful i'm not gonna lie and both of these are a lie because i do not think yeah. it's beautiful um this place is falling apart i mean like this place is falling apart like you know yeah one of the bottom three seems the most accurate to me <sighs> i think the, the this place is falling apart is like the most sensitive but also the least douchey option <laughs> so yeah. we can go with that um okay this place is falling apart. Oh, so you're the expert on how to take care of a mansion all of a sudden? It's not as easy as you'd think, okay? It takes a lot of time and resources. What you see right now is still livable, so mind your own damn business. Yeah, fuck you, Tab Tabitha, what the fuck? Are you serious? Why are, are we here? Serious? Why did we come to this? Seriously, <laughs> are you fucking zero? for real? What the hell? Like, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, let's get this tour over with. Follow Are me. Are we taking time away from your kicking baby classes, or I, what? I, like... I guess. <laughs> Shit, like, you put your bags down and follow Tabitha through a long, dusty hallway. She delicately steps over holes and tears in the floor, and you do your best to trace her steps. Fair? I don't want to die. That's fair. Hey, Wolf! Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus Lord. <laughs> hey, Wolf. Uh... Kitchen. On Wednesdays, a woman from town comes in and does the cleaning. Her name is Janie. I wouldn't recommend socializing with her. She'll talk your ear off. If you need any food, there's fixings for peanut butter and jelly. Uh, she sounds like a nice person. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so this is like the thing that is because I picked the mystical option. It says, as Tabitha speaks, your eyes are drawn to the windows and the overgrown garden outside. You s you're suddenly overcome with dread and anxiety, as though this place is a small step away from being swallowed up and vanishing forever. Fuck. That's okay. Cool, fast. <laughs> That's not great. I've been here for like two minutes. Um, okay. Uh... Don't touch my mac and cheese or my ice cream. Those are off limits. So you're selfish too, Tabitha. Is that what you're trying to say? That you're selfish? <laughs> uh, Not a surprise. No. Uh, let's see here. Oh, and you can uh, also access the garden through here, but it's pretty wild, so I wouldn't if I were you. Um, okay, and then there's a tip. Some explore options prevent you from taking others, so choose carefully. Good to know. Um... Hi, Rose. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I love you so much. Hello. Um, Hi, Rose. Let's see here. Okay, so... Okay, this is way more of, like, the explore options. So, hold on. Let me... Let me see here. Okay. Uh, explore. Mystical. I can feel the weight of the world pulling down on this place. Tabitha will punch me if I say something that weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, someone cleans this place? seems a bit bitchy uh this place is nasty also bitchy a little bit <laughs> it's nice Not that's that a lie coming at this point uh, she does but like her mom also just died so like yeah I'll, no you know I... <laughs> um it's nice it's perfect uh awesome i love pb and j uh is there somewhere in town to buy food what if i want ice cream <laughs> i mean <laughs> That's a fair that's question. A, no, that's a valid question. Yeah, it really is. Um, hmm. Okay, so... Listen, I do love peanut butter and jelly, and, like, that may be the most benign option here, if I'm being honest. <laughs> um, I think the rest of these are just gonna either get me, like, smacked in the mouth, rightfully so. Yeah. Or, like, 
she's just gonna look at me like I'm deranged. She's just like, gonna stare icily yeah, at you again. Probably yes. Um, but I do like peanut butter and jelly. So I mean, even if she's like, "Wow, you're so fucking stupid," like, listen, Tabitha, I actually do like peanut butter and jelly. So hmm, I don't care. You can't you can't ruin that for me. You can't. You can't, and you won't. Um, <laughs> but okay. So awesome. I love PB and J. How'd you know it was one of my favorites? That smile can't be real! <laughs> <laughs> so scary! Oh my god! I can't it's even... It's so terrible. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I did, but good for you. <laughs> what is happening? Oh my god. Oh, it's like nightmare fuel forever. Ooh. Yeah. That is rough. Okay. Whew. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, Rose, the smile. Jeez. It's bad. It's bad. Um, here we go. Sorry, I forgot to update chat. Sorry, sorry. Now it's showing on screen. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not saying this. She will smack me in my mouth. Um, I'm not saying someone cleans this mess. Uh, this place is nasty. It's nice. It's perfect. Uh, what if I want ice cream? Um, ooh. What if you do want ice cream? I mean, that's fair. I guess that would be the same question as, like, asking to go buy food. That's true. That's true. But it's specifically about ice cream, and I'm a fan of that. Yeah. So, uh, what if I want ice cream? Then you can buy yourself some at the general store. If you touch my stash, I will know. And there will be consequences. Okay, Tabitha, calm down. Um... <laughs> general store how very folksy uh but i'm your guest oh that sounds like a luxury i cannot afford sweet thanks uh i don't know that a general store is like folksy i feel like general store is just another word for like Exist? a convenience store like just a store it's just like a store that has lots of stuff in it it's yeah like... like what i feel like that's yeah. fine um yeah but I'm your guest. Uh, uh, yeah, because she seems to care about that a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's super a good host. Mm -hmm, yeah, oh, absolutely. She told you where to step so you don't die. Which I appreciate, but I think, to be honest, only to avoid a lawsuit. If you want me to be honest here. I mean, mostly I think it's to avoid cleanup, really. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Blood is a huge bitch to have to clean. That's so true and totally fair. Um... <laughs> Okay, so, uh, just sweet thanks is fine. That's fine. Sweet thanks. Yeah. Uh, cool. Good talk. <laughs> thanks, Tabitha. I, I'm not, why is this an option? Like, if I say this, I, mean, I would, I can't. Like, you, you no. You picked the, the, the call of the fairies, so that's, that's not, on purpose. Of <laughs> not on purpose. Not on purpose. Um, you could just be very granola. Like, oh, I feel the spirits here are very like, confused. <laughs> She's gonna fucking stab me. We're in the kitchen where all the knives are. She'll kill me. <laughs> I just oh, know it. Oh, there's a cat there. I miss the cat. Oh, there is a cat. Hi, cat. <gasps> you think I can talk to the cat? I'm hoping we can talk to the cat. Oh my god, I hope I can talk to the cat. Um, we'll, we'll just go with all right what's next. Talking to cat, let's go talk to the cat. Pretty much, yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, what's next on the tour? Bathroom, follow me. Great, it's been hours since it's I've gone. Be like a hole over the cliff. I swear to God, I'm probably gonna fucking die. <laughs> um, as the two of you leave the kitchen, you pass by a tuxedo cat sitting on the countertop. Hello, cat. Yes, absolutely. Um, yes talk to animals approach the cat is that your cat leave the cat be well i'm gonna approach the cat that's why i picked Obviously, talk to animals talk like to the cat yeah um tabitha okay uh don't try to pet frou-frou if she wants to be pet she'll let you know okay frou-frou can talk oh my god do you want to be the cat Nimi okay Oh, do I pet her? Sorry, I don't speak French. Okay, but can I pet you? Why do I ever bother talking to cats? Um, uh, I mean, sorry, I don't speak French. I'm American. I'm really boring. Uh, I'm sorry, little lady. Uh, je ne parle pas français. I don't speak French. That's 100% true. 
Um, okay, there That's we go. Just saying, yeah, you got it. <laughs> of course. How typically American. <laughs> I shall debase myself by speaking your tongue, but only so that I might insult you directly to your face, you uncultured swine. I fucking love it. I love this cat. <laughs> I fucking love it. Look at that expression. That cat's the best. <laughs> This cat is fantastic. I love this cat so much. <laughs> um, <laughs> Haha, very funny. Her name sounds French. Uh, stop wasting my time and let's finish the tour. <laughs> now I want to talk to the cat more. I know. Tabitha, please leave us alone. I want to chill with the cat. Let the um, cat make fun of me some more. <laughs> literally, yes. It's funny. Uh, my fr Rose, don't even talk to me about my French. Please don't. <laughs> uh <laughs> Uh, okay. You once again follow Tabitha through the long, dusty hallway. Maybe after a few nights, it'll get easier to navigate these spaces. But for the time being, you feel lucky to have not fallen through the floors. Man, are we really about to be here for a fucking week? That's wild. No, no it's floors like that. Uh, no, probably not. We'll have to have our own funeral here. Um, okay. Uh, guest bathroom. Not much to show. It's a bathroom. I'll wait outside... Do what you must, if you must. Why are you waiting outside? What's wait happening? outside. What? Wait down the hallway. <laughs> what is happening in this bathroom? I... What? What is happening in this bathroom? <laughs> it's horrible. Um... Somehow worse that they're mystery stains. Like in a bathroom, <laughs> you should know what the stains are. You should. You really should, I feel like. Like, um... that would be gross enough, but that they're mystery stains. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, okay. <sighs> it is a wretched bathroom. Piles of junk sit untouched on the corner or in the corners of the room and mystery stains paint the floor. I'm just going to get a UTI and hold it. Uh, who exactly uses this bathroom? Wait, are you sure this toilet works? This is the worst bathroom I've ever seen. <laughs> I like this bathroom. <laughs> like, who would say that? Um, hi, Gross Ron. People. How are you? Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Even if you can't stay, I still appreciate it very much. Um, uh, never mind. I don't need to go. Ugh, lift. The... I would rather die. Uh, I don't need to go. I'll hold it. I held it all the way to Canada once, and I'm not even. That's me. Me as a person. I held it all the way to Canada once. I'll hold it. Um. <laughs> Uh, you aren't desperate enough for this. Well yeah. worth it. We have nice bathrooms. Yeah, Very like, nice. yeah, it's, well, it, honestly, it wasn't bad. It was Toronto. Oh, well, it was pretty chill. Um, oh, you're tired? Yeah, I mean, hey, listen, you gotta sleep when you gotta sleep. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Much appreciated. Um, and thank you. Yes, I was, uh, like, 12 or 13 years old, and it was on a youth group trip, and my youth group leader was just like, we're not stopping the car. And I was like, well, then I'm holding it, I guess. And <laughs> I don't have any other options. <laughs> so it worked, though. Whatever. Yeah, not not super pee in a bottle territory. <laughs> no, not really. Not really. I don't think Jesus would help me with that. I, I just don't. I no, don't think he would lend not, me his he's strength. He's not big on that. No. Um, <laughs> but, okay, you aren't desperate enough for No, I'm not. <laughs> you know, on second thought, I don't think I need to go. Uh, Tabitha, stop! Uh, you might as well try Gross, since Tabitha. we're here. Ew. Um, nah, I'm good. Is there another bathroom? Suck it up and do I would rather die. Nah, I'm good. We can pee in the woods. Yeah, literally. Uh, you leave the bathroom and rejoin your cousin and finish your tour. <laughs> you still have to go, but it can wait until later. Maybe you'll sneak out into the garden. <laughs> Yeah, well, listen, honestly, at this point, I think that that would be better than this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, There's definitely something inside that toilet. There was an option that was like, yeah. lift the lid. Yeah, oh my god, you're right. Oh no, you're right. Oh, yeah, Jesus. Yeah, there's something inside oh, that toilet. You know what? Mm -mm. I don't, you know what? No, I don't need that in my life. I don't need that in my <laughs> life, and I don't need to know what it is. Um, okay, the stains, but can we talk about the toilet lid being cracked? Uh, levels of concern in this bathroom. You are correct, Ron. You are a hundred percent correct. Uh, this bathroom should be condemned. It's horrible. Um, <laughs> and hi, Colby. Uh, yeah. Yeah, LOL is correct. Yep. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, next up, guest bedroom. 
last stop on the tour. Follow me. I get to use my bitchy voice. I never get to use my bitchy voice. Uh, <laughs> you and Tabitha briefly return to the foyer uh, before climbing the stairs and reaching the guest room. Okay. Okay. Uh, the room smells uh, more cat. old. Uh, oh, uh, God. I hope, I hope more cats. Uh, <laughs> the room smells old. Dust, mildew, wood rot. It has it all. A week of sleeping in this place might give you permanent lung damage. Fuck, we are stuck here for a week. That's so long. That's Horrible. So long. Um, this is where you'll be staying. The linens are fresh. I had Janie wash them. Last week, uh, I had to endure a half-hour rant about her kid to get her to do it, so you'd better be grateful. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not grateful no. at all. <laughs> um... Uh, an unmistakable spiritual stench coats this room. People have died in here. Ugh. Okay, fantastic. Sorry, yeah, I know, right? Um, the closet is full of old family stuff, so you can't hang your clothes up, but you can use the dresser. It should be empty. <laughs> People have died here, haven't they? <laughs> you know what? This is kind of like being like really... I thought it was... I don't know, like overshare. I really thought it was going to be like uh in like dangerous situations you'd be able to have like i mean it might better intuition or something you know uh but i, I could be wrong <laughs> i could definitely be wrong um <laughs> let's see here so um uh this room is amazing oh, no uh what a dump it seems a little dusty this room is nice thank you who used to sleep here i guess i'll start to get settled remain silent um what if you played this whole game on just silent mode that'd be kind of hilarious um, just never speak to Tabitha. I mean, she'd, she'd probably it. be psyched. Maybe she becomes her best friend. Honestly, maybe. Like, maybe, really. That <laughs> ending is she just shares a bowl of mac and cheese with you, and that's, <gasps> that's how the game is. And ends. ice cream! She gives you a little bit of the ice cream, yeah. and she's like, here you go, thanks for not talking to me at all for an entire week. I, I don't think she even it. says anything. I think she just pushes a bowl of ice cream <laughs> to you. <laughs> you. You sit quietly. Throws a spoon at you, probably. Uh, yeah. uh, whoever died in this house, whatever creepy vibe, you look like the bigger psychopath just staring at her and never say anything. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, so I, I kind of want to say people have died here, haven't they? Yeah, why not? It's I the just, special option. I feel like it's true. And in this case, I don't even feel like it's that weird. Like, you know what I mean? It's a big old family house. Yeah. Like, it makes sense that people might have died in the... I mean, in here especially, like, holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, okay. I sense a heavy spiritual fog hanging over this room. People have died here, haven't That's they? That's the worst way to phrase that. I swear to God, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> um, when? This house is almost 150 years old. Obviously, people have died here. <laughs> okay, so we're right. We were correct. Yeah. Uh, looked how shifty she started looking though. Yeah, no, yeah, she wasn't like saying it like, yeah, of course, duh. Like, no, someone just died here, bitch. They just died yeah. here, like five seconds ago. Like, this is new. This is new death, not old death. Um, uh, who used? I am curious about who used to sleep here. Actually, yeah, I mean, she's gonna I'm be curious. like, my mom died here. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> who used to sleep here? Like I said, this house is almost 150 years old. Many, many people have slept here. Yeah, and... that's pretty evasive. I know, seriously. Uh, and Most now... recently, have <laughs> Most recently, was it your dead mom? <laughs> um, uh, okay, and now you'll sleep here, carrying on the fine tradition of bedrooms being slept in. <laughs> I just want to know if it was a man with a hook for a hand who slept here last <laughs> Which I feel like it is um uh <laughs> look me in the fucking eyes when you tell me your dead mom used to sleep here <laughs> Ron is spot on uh to be honest so the was truth your is mom the truth. maybe also a cannibal like just, <laughs> just want to get her some data I mean like listen if it's a possibility how much stuff in your house is made of teeth <laughs> god no oh my god okay okay i'm gonna start to get settled and uh maybe die okay uh i guess i'll start to get settled 
follow me. I'll take you back to the foyer so you can collect your belongings. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um... <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, this concludes our tour. I'm afraid I must return to my duties, so you'll have to entertain yourself for the rest of the day. Don't Those expect... I, I guess, I have no idea. Uh, don't expect to see much of me. Um, okay, tips. Some dialogue options will open additional conversation paths. Some right away, and others down the line. Okay, good to know. Um, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so, ooh, uh, lots of explore options. So, where are you going? What am I supposed to do while you're gone? Are you sure you can't take the day off? Did I do something wrong? Why are you being such well, a jerk to me? More time with Tabitha. <laughs> I know, right? Um, are you sure you're okay? I won't keep you, but we should hang out when you get back. And then let Tabitha leave. Um, can I do all of these and then let Tabitha leave because I don't want to hang out with her? <laughs> like, I mean, you can... You can try. I'm, she definitely won't spend time with you. Thank God. Thank God. Um, okay, so I am curious about what she has to go do. So I'm going to ask. Uh, wait, where are you going? It's the one you like the most because yeah. sometimes they'll get closed off. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, to work. Somebody has to pay the bills around here. Bitch, you're the only one alive. Yes, yeah. somebody has to pay them. It's just you. I guess um, somebody has to feed the cat. I guess, see, and, that, and that's a real reason. That is a real reason. I literally have a sign in my house that someone bought for me. Like it was like this, like a funny gift. Uh, but it says, "I I work so my dog can have a better life." And it's like, no, that's true. That, that's hundred nope, percent true. Accurate. Like, if I didn't have a dog, like why wouldn't I just completely abandon polite society? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. what's it doing for me? I don't uh, need to talk to you people. Not really. Uh, <laughs> I have to get my dog food. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, hey, Con. Uh, okay, so what kind of work do you do? I am curious. Yeah. She um, won't tell us. But, you know. Probably not. Maybe. You never know. Maybe she's a murderer. Um, <laughs> uh, what kind of work do you do? I run the coal mine. Same as every Scarlet who came before me. Except for you and your mom, it requires a lot of time and concentration. So I'd appreciate it if you didn't keep me for long. All right. Uh, I didn't know we own a cone mine. Can I come watch? Good for you. <laughs> uh, that's kind of <laughs> sad. Ew, gross. Hashtag girl boss. Hashtag I'd girl rather boss. kill myself. What? <laughs> To oh, say she'd love it. She'd be like, like finally, poster. thank you. I've been waiting for you to say hashtag this whole time. I can't. Here, let me open up my Instagram. You can see all the pictures of my coal mine. I cannot. I just can't. Oh my god. Okay, Here's so... me with some paper take. Hashtag girl boss. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, so, um... It's probably not that hashtag one. Hashtag coal goals. <laughs> Oh no! Oh my God. Okay. Whew, okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Probably not you. Gross. That's rude. Uh. That's kind of sad. I don't know that it's. There's no sad. answers here that aren't a little insane. <laughs> yeah. Like what? Um. Can I come watch? Like. No. Watch what? What would I be watching? Um. Hashtag girl boss. That is the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. And it becomes a buddy cop mystery to find, I don't know, Tabitha's dead mother or something. Oh, no. Oh, no. I would watch that movie. I mean, me too. Um, but, okay. <clears throat> it sounds like we really didn't know that our family owned a coal mine. So that's new information. We can go with that. She'll be upset if we say we, though. She's going to be oh. like, I own a coal mine. Ooh, she really is. But it's better than can I come watch? Because I don't want to do that. I don't want to lock myself true. into that. Yeah. Like, she at will, all. She will refuse 100%. <clears throat> she absolutely will. But, like, I don't want to piss her off extra by even no. asking, you know? She uh, might reveal stuff by asking her about the coal mine anyway. Yeah, yeah. Just, like, at least, like, oh, I had no idea. Like, maybe she'll just be like, oh, well, you didn't even know that. Then it's not, like, your fault that you didn't come here and help or whatever. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, so... I didn't know we owned a coal mine. <laughs> we don't own the coal mine. I own the coal mine. 
your side oh, of the family, yep. forfeited uh, any claim to it years ago. Shit. <laughs> I mean, that's that hashtag girl boss attitude. It really is. It really is. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, okay, I don't want to come watch. Uh, good for you, sounds boring, that's kind of sad. You gross girl boss mode. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Uh, it remains silent. Okay, so, I mean, good for you? Like, uh, I mean, congratulations. that's probably the nicest thing to say. As, that sounds pretty impressive and exciting. Good for you. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I don't think of... Uh, it as boring or exciting in the same way I don't think of cleaning a toilet or painting a wall as either of those things. It's a task. Ma'am, you have never cleaned a toilet in your life. Do not lie to me. Do not lie to me. <laughs> like, that is a lie. That is a blatant lie. Yeah. No, she has definitely never cleaned the <laughs> toilet in her whole entire existence. No, she hasn't. Uh, I, I respect that energy too, though. I do. Like, it's weird when people like pretend that things that are boring, objectively boring, are like the most interesting thing that's ever happened ever. It's like, no, it's okay if stuff is boring. Like you just do it and then it's done. And then you can go do stuff yeah. that's actually no, fun. Just work. Like, yeah, who cares? Um, <laughs> you do not have to find joy in every tiny thing that's borderline psychotic. That's not how yeah. life works. She runs a coal mine. It's not a not a lovely thing. No, no, no it's no, like, having... oh yeah, when I grow up, I want to run a coal mine. She's having a super great girl boss time uh, getting black lung. It's fantastic. Listen, <laughs> you don't even know. You don't understand because you're not a hashtag girl boss. But if you were, then you'd get it. But you, you don't. So, you know. This is true. I am not a hashtag girl boss. No, this you don't understand. Nope. Deepest feeling. Nope. Hashtag girl boss. Uh, what is it like? It's like gaslight gatekeep girl boss or something like that. It's <laughs> horrible. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, yep, yep, the black lung joke. It's for real, though. That's definitely a thing, for sure. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so, okay, yeah, she's just lying to us. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, one of those tasks could be, <laughs> could use more doing, yes! Uh, that's a healthy mindset, that's kind of sad, remain silent. Um, I actually do think that that's a healthy mindset. Uh, personally yeah, no it, uh, it, it is and well, i'm not gonna tell her to clean her own toilet she knows she's fucking gross <laughs> i don't need to tell her that she knows yeah, um no she's a whore. seems like a good way to look at a job instead of convincing yourself you have to be doing the thing you love the most it's okay to just have a job yeah exactly legit. yep yeah she yeah. she agrees okay nice okay uh yeah exactly uh would i rather be doing something else with my life maybe but I know I had to take over the company, so why think about that other stuff I could be doing? Well, that's fucking sad, Tabitha. Well, um, that's a pretty depressing way to put it. <laughs> yep, she really did. Uh, yeah, that bathroom needs a whole lot of too. Yeah, it does! That bathroom needs assistance. Uh, <laughs> a whole lot of fire. You're not yeah, wrong Yeah, a trial either. by fire. Yep, yep, yeah. yep, you're not wrong. Um, okay, so... We're back to some other stuff that we already had. Um, I'm not going to ask her why she's being a jerk to me. She's probably just, like, a bitch in general. Um, I will just say the family stuff. Probably. probably. Yeah, good point. Um, I, did I do something wrong? I don't care. I didn't do anything. Um, no. I don't need you to take the day off. That's completely fine. Um, I'll ask... Uh, mm, we should hang out when she gets back. Maybe we could, like, soften her up a little bit or something, you know? Maybe. It's possible. Yeah, I mean... She has a cat. I mean, yeah, she can't be yeah. all bad. That, right? That's true. Right? She she at least likes her cat. That's something. She's got a cat. That's something. That um, means she has a soul. Probably, yep. Um, here to clean the bathroom, just show up with a flame flower. You're not wrong, listen... You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not I mean, wrong. Maybe it's on the part over the cliff and we could just kind of like push it off. How convenient would that be? Oh my God. Um, all right. I won't keep you, but we should hang out when you get back. We'll see. There's a lot that needs to get done this week. Okay. Bye Tabitha. Uh, your cousin leaves through the front door 
and now it's just you. You in this sprawling, decrepit estate, which is accurate. Uh, a PB&J sounds good right now. Always it does. Uh, she dipped out real fast. Yeah, she really did. Uh, expeditiously, she left. <laughs> uh, settle into your room. God, no, please, no. Um, go straight to the forbidden wings of the estate. Uh, might as well head to town. I mean, the PB&J will put us maybe near the cat again. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. You haven't had anything to eat all day. Um, <clears throat> the only things louder than your stomach right now are all the creaks and moans of this ancient place. A PB&J sounds uh, exactly like what you need to take on the rest of the day. You head to the kitchen. <laughs> we should hang out. Nah, bye. <laughs> Just gone. <laughs> Uh, hold on, I gotta drink some water. I'm gonna die. Hydrate myself. Okay. Um, here we go. Okay. You're back in the kitchen, ready to craft a beautiful peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's a daunting task, uh, given the state of the place, but the aggressive growls of your stomach outweigh your fear of food poisoning. Oh my it god. Shouldn't. Imagine having food what? poisoning in that bathroom. Oh my god. You would just die. Like... I just jump off the cliff. Uh, it, yeah. it <laughs> at a certain <laughs> point, at a certain point, you just like walk directly into traffic. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Well, except there's no traffic. This is such a small place. <laughs> um, okay. To get started, you'll probably need to find some peanut butter, uh, some jelly, bread, a plate, and a knife. Uh, That's a tall order. It really is. Talk to animals. Approach Fru Fru. Search the fridge. Search the pantry. Search the cabinets. Check out the garden. For what? For what in the garden? You think she keeps the I mean, bread outside? Like what? We talked about going to the bathroom in the garden. Oh so my maybe god. That's <laughs> I don't want to do that. Um, on second the thought, garden, you're you know, not was actually ominous hungry and threatening to destroy the house. <laughs> I know, seriously. Uh, we'll talk to Fru Fru and then maybe we don't eat. Uh, we'll take the approach I take, honestly, to be honest. Like just in real life. It's fine. Uh, Fru Fru hisses as you draw near and remains firmly in place. It's your turn. <laughs> you might want to talk to me, but I don't want to talk to you. Go away. <gasps> Sad. Um, do you like living here? Do you know what's in the sealed off part of the estate? I guess the cat could go over there. We can't, but the cat could. Um, can you tell me about Tabitha? Can you tell me about my aunt? Um... Do you like living here? It's like a pretty vague one, but like maybe it gives her more chances to like tell us stuff that she cares about. Maybe. I feel like she's gonna say no, man. <laughs> no, no matter what you <laughs> say. True. But... Um, you know what? Can you tell me about Tabitha? Uh, what can you tell me about my cousin? This is the first time I've ever met her. <laughs> Bear me your life story. Tabitha at least knows not to bother me. Damn. <laughs> um, do you like living here? I despise <laughs> small talk. <laughs> Torturing this poor cat. Oh, no. <laughs> the cat is giving me the sass mouth. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> 100%. Okay, I've got to ask about the sealed off part because I need to know. Uh, <laughs> I need to know. Uh, do you know what's in the sealed off uh, part of the estate? <clears throat> Nosy, aren't you? But of course, I'm not surprised. You seem to enjoy poking your head where it doesn't belong. I, I do, that's true. <laughs> oh no. If you won't take the hint, I suppose I'll have to take things into my own hands. Oh Jesus Christ, I'm gonna get scratched! <laughs> It would have been no! much better if said pause. Ah! Fru oh no! Fru Fru lunges at your hand and bites you hard. You back away. Oh my god. I'm not hungry anymore at all. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> the state of this kitchen has put you off eating, possibly forever. Maybe it's time to do something else. Damn. I'm leaving this fucking house. Oh, goodbye. 
<laughs> There's not much left for you to do here other than head out and explore the town. You do just that. Yeah, because I don't want to die. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Get me. It was the nicest thing that happened today. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Um, <clears throat> if you'd have known you'd wind up having to walk all the way back to town, you probably would have just asked Tabitha to leave you at the bus stop, especially with how unhappy she seemed to see you fair. Uh, if only you could wipe the slate clean between the two of you uh, and bury some of the tension. Uh, though maybe her mother's funeral isn't the best time for something like that. Then again, maybe it's the perfect time. I mean, continue down the path is my only option, so I'm going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's really pretty out here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going then. <laughs> ah! We made it to town! Okay. Finally! You made it back to town. Uh, the hauler, uh, as the guy on the bus called it, has probably seen better days. Uh, it still has the feeling of an idyllic country town, but its sidewalks are cracked and many of the storefronts are boarded up, their windows dusty with age. That's what it looks like. Uh, a chill breeze sweeps Hi, down the plane. Da oh, oh. oh, okay, bye. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Um, okay. A chill breeze sweeps down the lane and you shudder, uh, suddenly feeling as if you're peering into a grave. Ooh. Spooky. A dog! Dream. You didn't even have a mystical thing. A dog! <gasps> a dog! Ah! Yes! Saved! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, wait. Oh, Gretchen's the dog! I think Gretchen's the dog! Is Gretchen the dog? I think so! I mean, Why, I do declare, who is this stranger? Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> yeah, because when the people talk, their mouths are a little open. Oh so. yeah, you're yeah, right. yeah. Um, so, sorry about that. Gretchen can be very slippery when she wants to be. Uh, she loves to get loose and cause havoc. I love Gretchen. Please let her. <laughs> yeah, Gretchen's the best. <laughs> oh my god. She's so the nicest options. person we've met so far. Seriously. Uh, it's nice to meet you, Gretchen. Pet the dog. A pug. She's so cute. Tell me more about this wonderful creature. I don't do too well with dogs, oh, which no, is no. a lie. Introduce yourself. Remain silent. No. I'm talking to Gretchen directly. Yes. I know I just <laughs> met you. but uh... <laughs> Literally. Uh, it's nice to meet you, Gretchen. I'm Sakari. <laughs> my, oh my. I can't remember the last time I met a newcomer who was so wonderfully polite. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Sakari. I love it. Uh, <laughs> ha, that's a funny way to introduce yourself. I'm Stella. That's so funny. Like, I actually do that in real life. Like, I will talk to people's dogs before I'll talk to them. Like, Oh, 100%. So that's a normal way to talk to, to deal with people who have pets. I mean, like, it's, it's funny, but, like, sometimes I do feel a little bit bad. But I'm just like, I'm not trying to talk to this human being. I'm trying to talk to this dog because I like the dog. I feel like pet people get it. Yeah, like, right? Probably. I hope so. I always yeah. hope that they get yeah. it. Like, and people do it, like, to me all the time. Like, if I'm watch if I'm walking BB someplace, people will literally just scream the word wiener and then run over and try to pet him. <laughs> and I'm just like, he could be a murderer. Like, you don't know. He could be crazy. Like, you have no idea. But, like, yeah, it's, th like, there's never an occasion in my life where I have ever heard the word wiener more than I have ever since I uh, rescued BB like eight years ago. <laughs> like, literally. That makes I, sense. Yeah, it's, no, it's I buy a it. lot. It's a lot. It's pretty funny, but it's it's funny. Uh, so, <laughs> anyway. Um, it's not often I see a strange face uh, up in the holler. Every now and then, there's a new crop of coal folks, but you don't look dusty enough for that. <laughs> Stella, what's that face? Uh, oh, you aren't in town for the funeral, are you? The Scarlet funeral? Yes, I am. Why would I lie? What? Like, she's not going to find mm -hmm. out. Um, yeah. Oh, none of your business. No, she has a dog. She has a dog. Yes. Yeah, be nice. Um, yeah, introduce yourself. Maybe she'll let us yeah. talk to her dog yeah. somewhere. Literally, yes. Uh, hi, I'm Sukari. Um, oh, yeah, okay. You must be Tabby's cousin, right? Upon mention of your cousin, Gretchen mutters under her breath. Ooh. One of these days, I'll get that Tabitha to pet me. Oh, no! Oh, no! Poor 
poor Gretchen. Hashtag dog goals. Literally, yes. Um, that's the only person I can think of who would come to town for the funeral. How's she holding up? Uh, to be honest, I've been a little worried about her. All alone up in that big house. I don't know, fair. Uh, I'm sorry, did you say Tabby? She's in conflict with herself. Whoever I met today isn't the real Tabitha. Okay. It's presumptuous. <laughs> um, she seems alright. I'm worried about her. Is she always so... <laughs> uh, I don't know how she's doing. And I don't care. Why do you care? Um, I feel like if she knows her well enough to say Tabby... Call her Tabby? Yeah, then yeah. maybe like she'll know if she's always so... Well, like this. Um, so, I'll, I'll ask. Uh, is she always so... You know. Rough around the edges? Yep, that's Tabby for you. I wouldn't take it too personally. I wouldn't call that the edges. I know. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what it says about her state of mind, that she's still her same old grumpy self. Uh, it's probably... It, oh, it'll probably be good for her now that you're staying there, even though she'd probably never admit it. Uh, how long have you known her? Are you two friends? She's really not worth your time. Ooh, I really can't say that. Um, You've known her like 12 minutes. Literally, so. yeah. Um, how long have you known her? Fair question. Um, how long have you known her? Uh, oh, quite a long time. The town's really small, so everybody's known everybody else as far back as they can remember. Tabby and I got a little close when we were both in the school's production of A Midsummer Night's Dream. Okay. Um, I was Puck and she was Mustard Seed. As you might have expected, she was more than a little prickly, but I managed to soften her up a bit in the end. But I then she... a lesbian. I'm getting that vibe from her. I know, right? Uh, but then she graduated and that was that. Yeah, Stella is gay and I love it. Um, oh, okay, so it's your turn. <laughs> I haven't seen a, that girl or her horrible little cat since I was middle-aged. Oh, so Gretchen's old as fuck. I mean, that makes sense. Gretchen, bless her heart, she looks old. So that's fair. Um, yeah, no. Oh, here we go. Oh, before it slips my mind, if you're staying up in that spooky old mansion, you must have met the Fru-Fru. <laughs> How does that monster fare? <laughs> oh, I love you so much, Gretchen. <laughs> Um, okay. Let's see your uh, Tabitha's cat. Unfortunately, we've met. Uh, I will pet her if it's the last thing I do. It sounds like you and Fru-Fru have a history. Ignore Gretchen, Stella. Let's oh, let Stella discover your quirk. Ooh, that's fair. That is a fair point. Okay, so I think at this point we have to decide if, like, okay, let's say we're right, and let's say that Stella is, you know a gay, uh, which I hope so, because <laughs> please, that'd be fantastic. Um, like, uh, I don't want to, like, freak her out by letting her know we can talk to animals as soon. That might be less than ideal. Potentially. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how they deal with, you know, <clears throat> witches in this neck of the woods. Yeah, me either. Uh, I feel like not great, although I feel like Stella would be chill, but like maybe she seems other pretty people... alright, but she also only knows us for like 12 minutes. I might be a little concerned if someone <laughs> talked to my dog too much. Yeah. Uh, it, well, the thing is, these are, uh, these are not rhetorical questions, and they're specific to whatever Gretchen has said. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, it's not just you, you know, remarking to the dog. You're yeah, exactly. answering a question. Exactly. So maybe I just ignore Gretchen, which hurts my heart a lot. Yeah, no, it's killing me a lot. It hurts, but if I want a chance with Stella, which I've decided I do from these two minutes I mean, of talking to her. I mean, she's easily the nicest person we've talked to. She is, she is, she is. Um, oh. <laughs> You choose to ignore Gretchen's question. Let Stella discover your secret powers. Sadness. If you do see that devil of a cat, please send my regards. And do let her know that not only do I still draw breath, but that I very much still plan to outlive her. <laughs> oh, 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 I love it. I love it so much. Love you, Gretchen. Um, 
Oh. Gretchen's the bat. Yeah, seriously. Uh, oh, if you just got to town, you must be starving. I was just That's on my actually... way. Yes, I know. Seriously, I'm dying. Um, and I need a doctor for my bite on my hand. Um, for my rabies bite. <laughs> literally. Um, uh, I was just on my way to the diner for a coffee, and they've got amazing biscuits. My treat. Thank God, Stella. Do I even have any money? I don't fucking know. I don't no know. No one knows. You have I a wet bag know. of peanuts. Ugh. Ugh. No, thank you. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we tried to get PB and J got beat up by the cat. Yeah, literally, I probably need a doctor. Um, so, okay. The pleasant aroma of greasy breakfast food hangs heavy in the air. In contrast with the empty, lifeless atmosphere of the family estate, the diner is filled with uh, the comforting uh, din of human life. That's nice. All of which grinds oh. to a sudden halt as the patrons realize that a stranger has entered the establishment. Great. <laughs> Some guy over in the corner has something weird on his face. Oh, yeah, he does. What the fuck is this? Oh, wait, 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 no. Oh, it's no, the it's gears. the gears. It's from the, the gears. Oh, holy yeah, shit. No, oh, my God. I got I so scared. Like, oh, what's wrong with that guy? Whoo, I got so scared. <laughs> I thought he had, like, bones showing through his face or something. Like, yeah. oh, my God. That would have been so fucking weird. It's alarming enough that they are just <sighs> staring all at us. You're it, right. That's enough. Yeah, that's that's bad enough. Um, I'm not going to say, hey, everyone. Like, that's so weird. Quietly slide into the nearest booth, silently stare at the patrons. Not helpful. Um, what are you looking at? Uh, oh, God. If they've really all stopped, I feel like introducing yourself makes sense. Like, Yeah, I mean, they're literally all looking at you. Yeah, right? Like, it's not like one of them did that and you're just talking to, like, everybody. Like... You know, it's everybody's This is when you pull out your you. guitar, put it on the ground, op open the case, start busting, you know. If uh, if I could, I would. Um, oh, God, this is awkward, but I still feel like it's the best option. Um, hey, everyone, I'm Sakari, just in town for the funeral. Before anyone ca uh, can respond, you and Stella casually slide into a booth, pretending the whole town didn't just gawk at you like a sideshow attraction. Totally fair. Um... Looks like your entrance was a little more dramatic than you were expecting, huh? Folks around here don't meet many strangers, as is. Uh, and with who you're related to, well, let's just say you'll be the talk of the town for a while. Uh, random man, do you want to be that person? Sure. Hey, Stella. I went ahead and fixed you up a coffee. Ooh. They gracefully place a cup of specially brewed coffee in front of Stella. Aw, shucks. Thanks, Avery. Uh, okay. And here here's some bacon for the little lady. Oh my god, for Gretchen! Yes! Yeah, Gretchen. Yes, I love it. <laughs> for me? For me? Yes! <laughs> Gretchen sniffs the bacon and digs in. I love it. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Cute. It's so cute. I love it so much. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh my god. It's it's so perfect. It's so cute. I, I love Gretchen so much. Hold on. I'm taking a screenshot. Like, for real, I'm taking a uh -huh. screenshot of this. No, you 100% need to. Oh my god. I would be disappointed. It's fantastic. Um, okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right, uh, there you go. Anything for you? <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Uh, isn't bacon bad for Shut up! What do you mean, isn't bacon bad for dogs? This dog is like a bajillion years old. Leave her alone. Um... <laughs> oh, hide the text box for a second here. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, look at that dog face. <laughs> it's perfect. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love it very much so. Yep. <laughs> It's some very good bacon. <laughs> it's good. Um, Stella said she's buying, so I'll have one of everything, please, and thank you. How much is the coffee? Order a coffee, order a biscuit, order a biscuit and coffee. I'm good, thanks. Um, uh, 
probably... Mm, how much is the coffee? Maybe. Uh, or order a biscuit. Do I have money? I don't know. Do I have money? Like, have they said like that? like ordering a biscuit and coffee is cool. She said my treat. She was expecting that you'd at least get, like, she did. a okay. coffee. Yep. And then she recommended the biscuits. That's so, true. That's like, true. I think you're kosher. That's true. That's true. Uh, could I have a biscuit and coffee, please? I heard they were really good. Best in the county. Uh, Avery pours the fragrant brew into the empty mug in front of you. They linger after pouring, uh, turning to you nervously. Oh. Oh, and, uh, uh, sorry for your loss. Mm -hmm, fair. Fair. Uh, before you have the chance to respond, they're gone. Dip. Yep, <laughs> probably for the best. Um, glad you took my advice with the biscuit. You won't regret it. Um, anyways, the funeral's not till Sunday, right? Yeah, she's uh, gay. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, please, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> that gives you quite a bit of time to slum around town. I'm trying to think if there are any cool events going on this week. There's always the reading adventure at the library, which is supposed to be for little kids, but I do it every month anyway. Oh, and I'm pretty sure Avery's throwing a party Saturday night, so that's a fun thing to look forward to. And there's the weekly Sunday potluck. That should Wink. be right after the funeral, so it'll be a special occasion. Okay, that's so many things. Um, a small town. Here. It's quite a bit going on. It really is. Uh, is the potluck like a church thing? I don't fucking care. I don't live here. <laughs> like, what? Um, it's cool. Cool. Uh, sounds neat. Maybe I'll check some of these things out. Uh, anyway, those are all the big events I can think of. As for this day-to-day, -day, any idea how you want to kill time for the rest of the week? No! Why am I here for a whole week? Like, seriously, why? <laughs> um, what's it, what's it what to you? you? <gasps> how dare? How so dare? Aggressive. How dare that even be an option? I'm upset. I mean, if you play this through a second time, you should be an ass. That's oh, definitely I'm, the way to go. I absolutely will. I'll be super quiet, and I'll be a dick, and it'll be funny, hopefully. <laughs> or I'll want to cry. Because um, <laughs> Stella seems so nice, I don't want to be mean to her. Um, yeah, no, she's super chill. Yeah, and she got a dog! See? Yeah, Gretchen's dog. legit. Love it. Um, okay, what's it to you? No clue. I'm sure I'll be able to occupy myself. I'll probably just do whatever I can to support Tabitha through this. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, just no clue. Uh, honestly, I have no clue. Uh, well, you're in luck, as you've happened to run into the person who knows all the best stuff to do around here, and has limitless time to show you around. Okay. Uh, my boss is pretty forgiving. Oh, wait, you probably wouldn't get that joke since we don't know each other <laughs> that well. I'm self-employed, so I'm my own boss, so I'm forgiving myself. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, you get it? <laughs> yeah, Stella's Stella. definitely gay. She's gay. So gay. This is every gay date I've ever been on. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah, no. I love it. She is, she's <laughs> monstrously gay. It's, it's fantastic great. in the best ways. Um, Stella is amazing, yes. Uh, let's see here. Laugh uproariously. Yeah, I get it. Uh, give a, a wooden laugh. What's a wooden laugh? I don't even know what that means. Just, like, hollow. Like, I'm dead inside? There's a dog right here. Yeah. Why would I do that? Um, no, please explain the joke. <laughs> um, uh, like, either, yeah, I get it, or laugh uproariously, but it's not that funny. Like, I don't want to seem like a psycho. Like, there needs to be an option that's like, do you just want to get out of here? <laughs> Seriously. Can we go be gay someplace else? That'd be great. Uh, uh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Okay, that didn't Okay, that didn't do anything. Uh, before Stella can finish, Avery returns Biscuit in tow. Is there nothing else coming from me? Gosh, if I had known that plate of bacon would be my main and only course, I would have waited before digging in. That is a lie, Gretchen. <laughs> Yeah, Gretchen's full of it. Yeah. Here's your biscuit. Winnie says it's on the house. Since she sends her condolences. Oh, that's nice of whoever Winnie is. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, Sweet. Thanks. It looks great. You didn't have to do that. Uh, what do I look like? A charity case? Chow down. 
Um, just like, thanks, it looks great, because I'm a polite, normal person. Uh, thanks, Avery, it looks great. Uh, you pick up the biscuit, it's delicate and fluffy, and nearly... Oh, it nearly crumbles at your touch. <laughs> Buttery warmth... <laughs> What's wrong with me? Buttery warmth emanates from its surface. You don't even need to taste it to know that it is good. Divinity given butter form. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Why is this how I am? <laughs> this is a lot. Yeah, I, I expected Mystical to be a little more, like, psychic and a little me less, too. like, me too. deluded. Yeah, me too. Um, you take a bite, it melts in your mouth as if it was nothing but butter suspended in a thin matrix of dough. That is how biscuits work, so that's fair. Uh, truly, this is a perfect biscuit. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Lie and say I've had better. Why would I do that? Uh, this is the best Just biscuit me. I've ever had, but that's not saying much. No, that's not true. I've had plenty of biscuits in my life, so that's just whoa. Well, this one was obviously divinity, so, you yeah. know. Uh, whoa, this is a really good biscuit. Wow. I'm so glad you like it. Uh, Avery lingers at the table for a moment. So, uh, has Della mentioned she's famous? Haha, <laughs> oh, Avery, I'm not famous. Look, if you're gonna go around to if you're not, if you're not gonna go around tooting your own horn, you know I'm gonna do it for you. <laughs> Stella sighs. I'm a YouTuber! <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright, Stella. Yeah, she's... I mean, that makes the gay make a lot I more sense. I was gonna say, that makes Stella 100,000% gay. And I love that for her. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. Um, wait, what? <laughs> what kind of videos do you do? Wow, that's rad. Oh, okay. How does that make you, you any money? You wouldn't know I'm famous. I'm a VTuber, so... <laughs> literally um um you and everybody else no Oof. don't be a dick uh wait what like that's not confusing that's just like it's not confusing what kind of videos do you do about that i'd be confused i'm not confused yeah, i'd be no. curious about um cool what kind of videos do you do oh she hunts cryptids Ooh, that must be the spoopy part of this okay mm -hmm. maybe the mystery spoopy part um Okay. You should really check out her channel, uh, Sakari. It's amazing. Ooh. I think the best video to start with would be the river one. Not the lake, but, you know, the controversial one. Ooh. Oh, yeah. The Catawba River Runner. Um, I didn't much... Uh, ex I didn't expect much out of that footage at the time, uh, but it wound up being my most popular video by far. So the River Runner is a cryptid that's only known from a single sighting. Two Boy Scouts thought they saw something big and weird in the Catawba uh, River, and that's all I had to go on. <laughs> uh, but then I wound up catching this on camera. Stella pulls out her phone and shows you a clip of something in a river. Some folks said it was a beaver, but if that was the case, it'd be the least. It'd be at least twice the size of any beaver I've ever seen. Uh, I also had people saying it was a dog, or even a capybara that must have escaped from a local wildlife sanctuary. Um, oh, here we go. It was a mountain lion. I could smell it stink from miles away. Oh, interesting. I'm still not sure what it is, and I'm the one who saw the thing with my own very eyes. Um, it's a mountain lion. Uh, Gretchen thinks it's a mountain lion. <laughs> super that's, suspicious seriously uh that's an honest to god cryptid there uh oh yeah totally a dog or wait a beaver hold on <laughs> whatever it is you should leave it alone i don't believe in cryptids uh it's a mountain lion like there's just no way i would know that without seeming like either i'm pretentious or a crazy person who talks to dogs um <laughs> like directly yeah uh so i'm probably not that um so just uh, that's an honest to god cryptid there i guess i mean that's probably the nicest thing to say like she just showed you her cryptid channel yeah exactly yeah um that's an honest to goodness cryptid right there uh no way that's a beaver or a dog and there's no way a capybara would be swimming in a river in the mountains of north carolina 
uh, unless there's some North American colony of capybara in Appalachia, um, but that would still count as a cryptid, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, until someone catches a capybara up here, that will that would still count as a cryptid by most standards. Uh, my comment section went nuts for this footage, uh, and from there it spread to Twitter pretty fast. Oh no! Uh, there were polls for days. I even had actual experts weighing in. It was all really good. Ex it was uh, all a really cool experience, um, and it meant the video did some pretty great numbers. Personally, I'm a fan of the capybara theory. Fair, fair. Sure, it's not like any local sanctuaries, sanctuaries here are missing anyone, uh, but there's always people keeping exotic animals as pets. That's so true, though, and I hate those people, but that's so true. Yeah, it's pretty wild. It's like one of my least favorite things, but mm -hmm. whatever. Um... Kind of a sewer gator type situation. No, that's true, actually. Haha, <laughs> uh, -ha, exactly. Some exotic pet owner set it free, and now it will forever roam the Catalba, uh, confusing Boy Scouts and YouTube commenters for years to come. <laughs> uh, so, speaking of things to do around here, I was actually planning on filming this week's video tonight. I was wondering if maybe you'd want to come along. Uh, it's a pretty easy one uh, this week. We wouldn't even have to camp anywhere. I'm going to go after the... Wait, no spoilers! <laughs> uh, whoops! Sorry, Avery! It's okay. I should probably get back to it instead of standing around chatting with friends. See you all around! Well, there you go. Uh, now that the coast is clear, I'm going after Skunk Ape, which sounds real. A hundred percent. Sounds real. Uh, <laughs> you stinky, Ew, stinky. what Skunk Ape? Um, heck yeah. Isn't that just... Worse Bigfoot? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what it is. What's a skunk ape? It's like Bigfoot but smellier. Okay. I mean, um, I guess that's, that was accurate. Okay. Uh, most skunk ape sightings are from Florida, but while I was doing research for last week's video, I came across a report where a lady from, uh, from a town over claimed to have seen one on her deck playing tug of war with her dog. What? Um, and as I leave no stone unturned, I decided it was worth investigating. Uh, so what do you say? Want to tag along? Hold the camera for me while I narrate against a darkening sky? That sort of thing? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, I can ask Gretchen if she's going to be there. Um, are you I feel nuts? like that's safe. <laughs> yeah, I know. It really, like, I feel like it is, yeah. Uh, that depends. Are you going to be there, Gretchen? Oh, naturally. I wouldn't want any misfortune to befall my l beloved Stella. I must stay by her side, through thick and thin, however odd her passions may be. I really value that a lot, and I, I just value mm -hmm. her a lot. Yep. Uh, of course, it's actually been a while since I've had anyone but Gretchen out there with me. Say no more. I'm in. <laughs> Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. I actually started the channel with a couple of buddies of mine back in middle school, so it'll be like a blast from the past. Me and Kanika and Reese running around in the woods, flipping over rocks and bothering salamanders. Our videos were terrible, but we had a lot of fun, and that's all that mattered to us. You know, that gets me thinking. I wonder if they'd be down to come along with us, get the old gang back together. Though I guess Kanika has... Uh, to come out, uh, the general store t has to, oh, has to close out the general store tonight, uh, so I'm pretty sure she's a no-go. But Reese, I think there's a decent chance we could get him to come out, uh, of his hidey hole, uh, if he's up for it. Do you mind if I make a quick call? Stella pulls out her phone and dials it, waiting while it rings. Uh, Reese, dude, what's up? Uh, feels like it's been forever. It's just nothing. Um. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. Do you want me to come by, or... Nothing. Um, okay, if you're really sure, but if you change your mind... Oh, I was just calling to ask if you wanted to come out uh, to the woods tonight. I met somebody cool in town today. She's Tabitha's cousin. I know. Yeah, just here for one week. 
Anyway. Yeah, side eyeing you. Uh, right. Uh, anyway, we're going out to look for Skunk Ape. We could take the easier trails if that would help. Dang, man. That sounds awful. I hope you take it easy tonight. I'll swing by sometime this week and we can have a more low key hang. How's that? Haha, <laughs> yeah. I'll bring her. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye, bud. Oh, yep. Reese, there's always been something off about that boy. I never did like the smell of him. That's a little mean, Gretchen. <laughs> it's a little judgmental. <laughs> um, looks like it's just you and me, pal. Uh, did he ask you to bring me to his house? Is he okay? I mean, Are it sounded okay? like that. What's his deal? I mean, is he okay? I feel like it's what I would ask, because that's just so... Yeah. You know, vague. It sounded like he, like, hurt himself or whatever. Yeah. Um, he's not feeling well, that's all. He's had a lot uh, going on in the past, gosh, ten years or so. But I feel like it's gotten a lot worse recently. I can't remember the last time I saw him leave his house. Oh, well. It's not my place to talk little... about, really. Uh, I just got a little excited thinking about having him uh, along again. He's hilarious. You'd love him. Uh, we should swing by his place sometime this week. Um... Sure, yeah, that'd be that'd be nice. That'd be nice. I'd love to Not meet like your you friends. Have other things to do. Literally, what else am I doing? I have like nothing else here, um, except for the cat that hates me and bit me. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, awesome. I'll make it happen. He's definitely the trickier one to meet. Kanika is much easier to track down since she's at the general store basically every day. Uh, but friendship can wait. We've got a skunk ape to catch or to hunt. Uh, so we should probably head out if we want to make it up the mountain before it's too dark. Come on, let's blow this popsicle stand. Gay, so gay, I love it. Okay. So homosexual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's my favorite. Um, That's what that old man over there is talking about. Oh my He's god, like, it is. It is. Um, Stella found someone new. <laughs> uh, you pause before getting up. Maybe it's time to make a good first impression. Um... You can't afford to leave a tip. Don't leave a tip. You didn't spend any money. I would leave a tip, yes. You reach into your pockets and pull out a single crumpled dollar bill and a quarter. As long as you don't get sick of peanut butter and jelly, your meals will be free while you're here. Share the wealth while you've got it, you think to yourself. You leave the money on the table. Dollar twenty-five. I know, right? <laughs> and follow Stella to the door. Um, uh, it hadn't been very cold when you first arrived in town. But as the sun dips closer and closer to the horizon, a chill descends upon the hollow, and you see your situation with renewed clarity. You're in a new place, far from civilization, and the people you know, uh, following someone you just met, into a dark forest in search of monsters. That's fair. That's, so nice. That's fair. That's, you know what? It's not wrong. <laughs> it's not wrong. Uh, yeah, like if the dog, if she was a murderer, the dog would have told us about it. That's true. That's very true. That's a you know what? That's a really good point. Um, you feel mm, how do you feel? I'm not sure. Uh, kind of a sense of foreboding. What's because they because they like described it like that. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, no, I mean, it's clearly like, phrased you know? in a way to make you feel a sense of foreboding. Yeah, it definitely is. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, you feel an overwhelming sense of foreboding, which seems only natural, yep, considering where you are. Your instinct screams at you to leave, but at the same time, you're curious to see what the night has in store for you. You decide to go with the flow, to keep putting one foot in front of the other, and to not dwell too much on this strange feeling. That sounds like a thing. <laughs> um... Gotta love this brisk fall weather. Uh, this past summer was the hottest on record. Uh, since last year, at least. You know how it is these days. Each summer is the hottest yet until the next summer, which always finds a way to be so much worse. <laughs> um, it's just nice to feel a chill in the air and see the leaves change. Like, normalcy is restored, if only for a moment. Uh, sorry if that was a bit of a bummer. We should talk about something more fun. Like skunk apes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Um, are you really expecting to find anything? Do you ever hunt things that aren't cryptids like 
ghosts and whatnot. Uh, has anything bad ever happened on these hikes? What was the weirdest thing you've seen out here? Maybe she will eventually be receptive to us talking to her dog because she's into cryptids. I would like, like to she's think into so. weird things. I would like to think so. Um, are you really expecting to find anything? Do you ever hunt things that aren't cryptids? Ugh. Um. Huh. Um. Okay, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna start at the top. Uh, are you really expecting to find anything out there? Um, what are the chances we actually run into a skunk ape in just one night uh, of filming? That's fair. We are hunting a creature that's uh, that stayed hidden from humans long enough to gain a mythic reputation. What are the odds of something like that popping up uh, to star on my little YouTube channel? Uh, but hey, the chances are never zero, right? Um, it's true. It's completely true. Yep. Totally fair. Um, I can't really disagree with that. It's completely true. Um, I mean, you, you miss every swing you don't take. No, that's true. That's true. Puppy, what are you doing? He's so silly. Like, I put him He's the right way. Well, I put him the right way, and he ends up, like, laying completely horizontally. But it's just like, but, <laughs> but you're going to fall. Like, what? What are you doing? Sir, what are you doing? Here, stay, stay still. Stay still. Here's the blanket. Stay there. Stay. Good boy. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so... I'm curious to see if she hunts stuff other than cryptids, though. Like, that I actually am yeah, really curious sure. about. Um, do you ever hunt things that aren't cryptids? You know, like ghosts, demons, werewolves, that sort of thing? Um, yeah, for sure. I used to go after all sorts of spooky stuff. I never had much luck, though, especially when it came to ghosts. But when I first started doing solo videos, I'd go into all sorts of old, abandoned buildings, hoping I'd stumble across some sort of activity. But nothing ever happened. Uh, it was always just me and my camera in an old house getting worked up over a gust of wind or a creaky floorboard. Um, when all said and done, I've just been a lot luckier with cryptids. Um, I want to believe that and go so bad and i can't rule out the possibility that there really are true hauntings out there but if there are i sure has uh sure as heck haven't seen anything myself uh werewolves i kind of lump in with cryptids uh i'd be shocked if there actually were people out there who turned into animals but werewolf lore lines up pretty well with the great beast uh genre of cryptid Okay. I don't... Do you know anything about cryptid stuff? Because I don't. Yeah, a little bit. Do you? Okay, I don't know anything about it. I don't even know what a cryptid yeah, is, I mean, technically. Bigfoot, Sasquatch, oh. uh, Chupacabra. Oh. Uh, there's a local cryptid where I live on on uh, Vancouver Island, which okay. is... Um, we have a uh, caddy. It's like a... It's theoretically like an old dinosaur like a, a mosasaurus or something oh, funny. that like people think they see like a Loch Ness monster but in the ocean oh oh okay how interesting I don't think we have that where I live I'm trying to think like if I've ever heard anyone like say anything about it but I really haven't like... no most places have some Mothman cryptid <sighs> New Jersey Devil yeah New Jersey's horrible that makes perfect sense yeah um I don't know anything that's near here. I, not that I've ever heard of anyway. I mean, uh, I'm sure there's something, but I don't know what it is. Now I'm going to look, but I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah, not no, that I've no. ever heard of. There's there's a couple, like Sasquatch is supposed to be in the Pacific Northwest, which is just our name for Bigfoot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a, another lake monster around these parts. Interesting. Ogopogo. So yeah, no, cryptids. Oh, interesting. They're a thing. I'm looking it up right now. Hold on. I need to know. <laughs> I have to know. People thought they found what m they might have believed to be Chupacabra a while back, which was just like really? slightly mutated hairless dogs. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Cryptids. Uh, cryptids near me. It's like restaurants near me. 
<laughs> Local cryptids. I mean, yeah. I'm curious. Um, be here. Looking for any that are in like New England at all. Like I would take that, honestly. Um, not a single one on this list. Not even. I mean, that just means people one. around where you live are, you know, on the ball. <laughs> I suppose so. Yeah, it's just none of them are listed anyway. I mean, maybe, like I said, maybe it exists out there, and I would just have to go, like, asking around to find it or something. But at the same time, I mean, shouldn't it just be something that, like, is, uh, like, common folklore amongst maybe, like, teens or something like that? Like, I didn't like being yeah. a teen, but I was a teen at one point. So <laughs> I didn't like it, but I did it. I showed up. Um, but, yeah, it was just funny. But, um... Uh, Dover Demon. What the heck is that? It's, uh, it was mentioned in the Boston Globe. Uh, 17-year-old William Bill Bar Barlett claimed that while driving in 1977, he saw a large-eyed creature with tendril-like fingers and glowing eyes on top of a broken stone wall on a farm near Dover. Uh, someone else saw it the, the same evening. What? Teenagers drew sketches, swore on a stack of Bibles, they saw it. <laughs> well, if they swore on a stack of Bibles, then I believe it. Uh, Some suggested that the creature may have been a full newborn elk or a moose calf. I, don't, I wouldn't even know what those look like, to be honest, so maybe. Uh, sounds weird, but I'll have to look into it now, because I really am curious. Uh because, like I said, I've never heard of anything. Doesn't mean nothing exists. It could just be There's that a very over... catch on the Wikipedia page for it, so you'll enjoy that later. Oh, okay, good, perfect. Um, yeah, it could, it could definitely be that just over the years people have been like, oh, she, mm -mm, she won't believe us. We're not going to tell her. <laughs> just leave it. Leave <laughs> it alone. And that's completely fair, because I... <laughs> who knows? Um, uh, so let's hope that... Let's hope all of this is... That's all uh, just bunk. Am I right? Um, what about aliens? Uh, anyways. Uh, sure, what about aliens? Why not? Uh, what do you think about aliens? Don't even get me started. You see those UFO videos the government declassified? Aliens are definitely real. And they have absolutely visited Earth. Like, I believe in aliens way more than I believe in cryptids. That's fair. I adore my darling Stella, but she gets the strangest ideas in her head these days. Ever since her parents went away, she's been more and more foolhardy with all this critter nonsense. Oh, her parents went away, so they died. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, you don't see me hunting aliens out here because we know they're real. Um... Heck, yes, aliens are real. I'm skeptical. <laughs> See, that's just what the government wants you to think. I have absolutely no opinions on aliens. Um, uh, either the first... One of the first two, I feel like. Like, heck, yes, aliens are real. Or, we're not alone out here. Everything is cut from the same cloth. One of the two, though. Are you going to take the mystical path again? Might as well get your money's worth out of it. I feel like I probably should. Also, this is one of the least, like, stupid-sounding options, options, I feel like. Yeah, like, because yeah. sometimes the mystical option is just stupid, like, so dumb. But this doesn't seem that bad, so, you know. Let's see. We're not alone out here, but everything is cut from the same cloth. Whoa! <laughs> you... You've got to meet my friend Kanika's mom. You two would get along. Uh, let's see here. Has anything bad ever happened on these hikes? What's the weirdest thing you've uh, seen out here other than cryptids? Let's move on. Um, hmm. <laughs> oh, that didn't... What? <laughs> 
There we go. Um, we'll just go with... Has anything bad ever happened on these hikes? I guess. Um, has anything bad ever happened on one of these hikes? You know, just curious. You're asking if we're in bear country. Literally. Um, hmm. Let me think. There was that time back in early high school when Reese fell down a cliff. Uh, but he was fine. He had some folks uh, from town uh, rig up a pulley to get him out of the ravine, and his leg only took a couple months to heal. What? Uh, all in all, not too bad. Uh... Hmm. Okay. Uh, though I guess there was also that time I was out there, I was out here alone and kind of got stuck in a cave. Uh, I was getting great footage of what I thought was a family of wampus cats, uh, but I wasn't able to wiggle my way back out. Uh, turns out that wampus cats are actually skunks who are <laughs> very much did not appreciate me blocking the entrance to their hidey hole. Uh, and instead of running for help, Gretchen just sat outside bored to tears <laughs> lassie she is not oh no as if i made sure to give those nasty little skunks a piece of my mind that's what i did and i kept stella company just as she would for me if i decided to hide in a hole for hours <laughs> that's actually really cute gretchen's adorable yeah that's pretty freaking i want cute. this dog i know right she's so cute Uh, it took about an hour to get loose, uh, which was pretty intense, but a few tomato juice baths later, and I was ready, uh, oh, I was right as rain, uh, so it could have been a lot worse. That's true, true. Um, Maybe keep a satellite phone, Stella. Uh, probably. Uh, oh, and there was a time I accidentally stumbled onto Old Duke's property and nearly got my head shot off. What? That's starting to sound like a lot of bad things. Right? Uh, but that happens to everybody sooner or later. I'd barely count on it. Okay. Why are you doing this? Oh my god. Um, are you sure it's safe? What's the weirdest thing you've seen out here? Uh, other than cryptids? I'm curious. I'm curious. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's the weirdest thing you've seen out here, other than anything cryptid-related, of course? Um, oh gosh, that's a good one. Let me think. Well, there's always the t the deer I saw stealing baby birds out of a nest and eating them. That was pretty messed up. Uh, but that is I pretty messed up. <laughs> right, what the fuck? Um, but I think most people... Why, well, I swear to God. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> but I think most people know uh, about that these days. I've seen tons of videos of other deer doing it, so I'm not sure if it counts as weird anymore. Uh, oh, Tenacious Lake? Uh, that's definitely the yeah. weirdest. Uh, it was a 5 foot deep, 30 foot wide pile of old cans and bottles? Oh, it's Tetanus Lake. Oh! Oh my god, I was so confused. <laughs> um... Uh, bottled and assorted garbage and with uh, grass and trees growing on it so you could barely tell uh, it was there until you stepped on it, which is so dangerous. Oh my god. That's super dangerous. Uh, it was practically solid ground with how much, uh, how much it had been compressed, but you could still fall through if you weren't careful, hence the name. Um, Sucks. <laughs> right? Uh, better be, uh, up on your shots if you want to mess around in there. Um, it was all stuff from the, uh, 50s to, uh, which was super neat. I salvaged a few bottles that I keep, uh, on my dresser as a little souvenir. Uh, oh, do you hear that? Uh, sir? Sir? Um... <laughs> Do, uh, do you want me to read that one? Uh, sure. Oh, calm down. Gretchen, you old mutt. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's Duke. Oh, Duke, you rascal. Gotcha. 
Same to you, Stella. You're always jumping at nothing, girl. Phew, sorry for getting spooked, Duke. I thought you were... <laughs> Some creature of darkness. Nah, girly. Just old Duke. That's so funny. Now, what the hell are you looking at for way out here? A fair question. A fair question. Um, skunk hey, ape. Good I old Duke. Like, saying skunk ape, it just seems so silly. Like, it's not a real thing. Like... Not, not yeah. like it's not a real thing, because I don't think it's a real thing. But it's like, it sounds like it's not even real words <laughs> that go together. Yeah, you know? like, if you said Bigfoot, I would be less judgy. Bigfoot, I would be tons less judgy, and at least I would know what you're talking about, because then it would be, oh, I'm looking for something that thousands of other people have looked for over the past, what, like a hundred yeah. years or something, probably? Not like ten people who decided there's a smelly game. I mean, yes, literally. Um, <laughs> but neither here nor there. Uh, here we go. <coughs> Sorry, I asked. And who's this you've suckered into coming with you? <laughs> Wait a tick. You aren't... Is that... Yep. <laughs> I see. Welcome to the holler. My condolences. I'll keep you in my prayers. Mm -hmm. Now, both of y'all head on back to town, you hear? It's best you steer well clear of this area tonight. Okay, can do. I'm out dealing with my own critter, and I won't be too appreciative if a couple of fools with a camera scare away the more sensitive life. <laughs> also fair. <laughs> Completely fair. Uh, what are you hunting tonight? Something tall and hairy? Something musky. You see anything like that recently? Wouldn't you like to know? You never could stay in your business. <laughs> Stella Richmond. Put that damn camera down. <laughs> he really is like the quintessential old guy. Mm -hmm. um, oh, He's come a thousand on, years old. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, oh, come on, Duke. Maybe I could help out. I'm pretty good at tracking. You know I learned from the best. That you did. I have to see, I have yet to see a shred of proof that you listen to any of it. The way you tromp around the woods at night, yelling about chunkabungus or what have you. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh my gosh. Something's been getting at my chickens. I've lost three this week, and I can't afford to lose any more than that. Oh no. I'm so sorry to hear that. But, uh... You need to talk to some chickens. I know, right? Uh, but, huh, I wonder if Skunk Ape has a taste for chicken. Now see, this is why I don't want you to come to you about these things. <laughs> ain't no Skunk Ape, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> we don't know either, Duke, it's fair. We I'm don't know either. One. Oh my god. I know exactly what it is, but I know you won't believe me if I tell you. Um, okay. Uh, oh, Duke, you don't think it's... I do, actually. It's those damned mountain lions. They're out there, Stella. Of course they're out there. Why wouldn't they be out... We have mountain lions here. Like, what? Yeah, mountain lions are everywhere. Yeah, that's not new. <laughs> what? I don't care what your little investigation turned up. You haven't been out in these woods as long as I have. Those sons of bitches are sneaky. Of course you wouldn't find any in one night of tracking. That's potentially true. Totally fair. And I know for a fact that's when, what's been getting at my chickens. It couldn't be anything else. Uh, I'm telling you, man. Mountain lions are extinct in these parts. There hasn't been an actual sighting since the 1990s. And even those were even iffy. I know, right? <laughs> I know! <laughs> I've made up a new animal because I've decided that an animal that definitely exists in plenty of places could not have possibly migrated back here on its feet. Yeah, that's no, impossible. not a chance. No. It was definitely skunk ape. Yeah, obviously. Gotta make something up new. Uh, uh, oh, this is you. <laughs> it's true. The mountain lions are out there for sure as sin. They pee on all the best trees. Mm, I believe that. Hogs. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you're out here on your... I can't believe you go out there on your YouTubes saying some river monster spotted a couple of spotted by a couple school-aged Boy Scouts 
have been 100% confirmed, yet Appalachian Cougars are some kind of far-fetched <laughs> fantasy made up by old geezers like me. Duke spitting the truth. No, yeah, he's 100% correct, and it really couldn't be any more, like, basic, honestly. Oh, God. You made me look like a fool. I read those comments people were posting on your video. They were calling me all kinds of names, just for seeing something with my own eyes that I know to be true. Oh, no. Poor Duke. He doesn't deserve that. Oh, no. Don't read the comments, man. You're never, old. You never. 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 Um, I'm sorry, Duke. I didn't mean to sick anybody on you. I just... Don't think it's plausible. You'll eat those words when I come carrying a mountain lion corpse out of these woods at dawn. And if you two don't want a face full of buckshot, I suggest you run home and stay out of the woods tonight. Ooh. Dang. Uh, ooh, okay. Uh, as Duke's words leave his mouth, a sinking feeling starts to pull at your stomach, as if the four of you were inexorably creeping towards something terrible. Great. YouTube commenters. Great. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, what? Who says this? I don't think this ends well for you. Just call the cops. What? That is like a threat. <laughs> um, but we were here first. Well, we're not in first grade. Uh, what? If you find a mountain lion, don't kill it. Uh, right on, Duke. Kill that mountain lion. Uh, can't you just buy more chickens? Okay, let's go. Don't put in. This is between Duke and Stella. Um, uh, for once, I actually do think not saying anything is the right thing because this is. We have no. This has nothing for to do with us. a total us. stranger. Yeah, literally. Like, we, I don't even know half of what they're talking about. So, for once. We're only out here because the nice lesbian uh, asked us to come. Literally, yeah. Uh, you stand awkwardly by as the two continue to argue. Duke, you're just wasting your time. Uh, give us just one night out here, uh, or out there, to see what we can find, and I'm sure we can get to the bottom of this. Yeah, right. You'll get some shaky footage of a raccoon and claim it's a heretofore unknown creature that has a heat ray vision or some <laughs> such nonsense. <laughs> I know what I'm looking for, and there's no way I'm backing down. Damn. Man, now I'm... Uh, that mystical thing. Now I'm worried for Duke. Like, that's rough. He it's seems, true. You wouldn't have believed us anyway. But. No, but he seems so determined, and I feel like if you're that determined, like, it's not going to go well for you. Like, I think the mystical yeah. thing is right. Um, but I've got a film tonight the video needs to be out by tomorrow evening so i can keep on schedule if i miss an update i might lose my new sponsor and who knows what that'll mean for my career you ain't the only one on a schedule as you well know my boy Bo and me are headed down to the state fair to show off big betty I'm sure you are yeah i love duke too lemon <laughs> We'll be gone near a whole week, so our chicken coop might as well be a big have a big all you can eat sign on it. No oh poor chickens. You know how I feel about my chickens. I couldn't take it if I lost any more of my poor little ladies. Oh no. Oh Duke. Oh, oh Duke. My God. Let's just go, Stella. Can we stay at Duke's place and watch his chickens farm instead? Right? Why can't we? I don't see why I needed I need to be involved with this. I'm out. This is too much pressure. Walk away. I would probably just say, let's just go. Like, it sounds like he, like, not only was he there first, but, like, you know, it, he's just, like, doing his thing. I mean, he's he's attending an actual problem, and we just yeah. want to like, hunt in the wood. Yeah, no, that too. Like, yeah, for sure. Uh, let's just go, Stella. He's not going to budge. You're right. No point in losing any more time arguing. Fine. We'll head back to town. Uh, break a leg out there, Duke. Break a what now? <laughs> I mean, good luck, old man. All right. Have a nice night, y'all. All right. Uh, as you and Stella return to the trail, she carefully looks back uh, the way you came. 
okay, the coast is clear. There's no way we're letting Duke edge us out that easy. Of course. Bella. <laughs> Bella. <laughs> uh, come on, I know a trail that'll let us get around him. Yeah, no, there was no chance she wasn't going to do that. You're 100% right, Levin. Oh, oh fuck. Um, I mean, like, no way, not with Duke and his shotgun out here waiting to blow our heads off. I mean, yeah. It's not like we're wearing orange sure reflective vests. you don't want to, like, watch like, a movie instead? Right? Go to like, your place? Uh... Can't we go be gay indoors? Like, what? Why Why are we trying to be outdoor gays? Like, I don't need that in my life. Fuck. I mean, that's that's typically a dude thing. Like, they go camping. Like, yeah, because it's gross. Well, uh, it's just to, you know, be, be away. It's just because they don't like women. <laughs> like, that's it. That's, that's it. Somebody's told me once that they thought that cryptid hunters actually were all like gay people who were just going to be secretly gay in the woods. Oh my god, that'd be fantastic. I mean, I yeah, hope so. Like, oh, I'm I'm gonna go look for Bigfoot, and that's just code for have lots of gay sex in a tent. Good, <laughs> good for them. <laughs> if yeah. that's the case, good for them. I love that so much, and I am so much more interested in cryptids now. Uh, and that could also explain why we don't have cryptids here, really, is because we're already super gay. Like, <laughs> There's no need to go hide in tents. Nope. You could just be gay wherever you want, because most of us are at least a little bit gay. You know, so it's kind of like, whatever. Um, uh, are you sure you don't want to just, like, watch a movie instead? Yeah, like, that's... Yeah, I would so probably say that. Um, wouldn't you rather go home and hang out, maybe watch a movie... I'm a lot less comfortable going uh, out into the woods now that I know we'll be sharing them with a guy who'll shoot anything that moves. That's so true. Um, yep. Oh, I understand your fears, Sakari. This is an opportunity for a once-in-a-lifetime adventure. Seize it while you can. Gretchen, shut the fuck up. I want to live. <laughs> what the hell? Haters. Hey, Lulu. <laughs> How are you? Oh, my God. Gretchen's going to get us killed in these Gretchen's woods. Gonna get us killed. Jesus. Oh my gosh, how was your stream, Lulu? How was it? You guys play something fun, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh god, we're gonna go back in these woods and die. We're not even gonna get a chance to be gay. <sighs> as long as Gretchen's okay, that's what matters. Which I care about, absolutely. But like, I would also like to get a chance to live my best gay life. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, okay. I've definitely... <laughs> been having a really nice stream this is new for us but i enjoy i enjoy it um ooh, slime rancher i've never played slime rancher but i have always Looks super cute yeah i've always wanted to um people seem to really love it like a lot um but uh, yeah i've never actually tried it before so i genuinely don't know anything about it just that it's like cutesy looking <laughs> um but yeah yeah definitely that's awesome i'm so happy to hear that uh, it's really good. Oh, good to know. What like what kind of game is it anyway? I don't really know, to be honest. Like, is it like a farming sim game or like a? I don't even know what. <laughs> I really don't even know. I can't really even guess now that I think about it. <laughs> I mean, something with slime. Rat, rat, rat loves cheese. That's just accurate. Ah, uh, it's really cute, but also kind of sciency. It's kind of a oh, farming game, but it's a very creative. Oh, okay. I'll look into it. That's, I mean, yeah, that sounds sciency. Might be up your alley. Enough said. Yeah, like that's fantastic. I love that stuff. So that's cute, sciency, awesome. farming. Yeah. That, those, that's a hard combo to find. If we are gonna be honest here, <laughs> um, I do in fact love cheese. Good for you. You're a good person, and I'm happy to hear. You're that. in good company. Yep, yep, yep. Everyone here loves cheese, and if they don't. Well, they should lie about it and pretend that they do, because yeah. it's morally correct. Try to fit in. Yeah, it's morally correct to like cheese. Um, <laughs> um, oh, God, I am scared to click this next thing. Uh, <laughs> cheese equals life, so true. So true. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to click this and we're going to die, man. Oh, no. Just immediately. I know, right? Uh, the next panel is just, so, like, Stella's head is missing. <laughs> My girlfriend! Oh no! Uh, um, oh, you don't have.
have to worry about old Duke. I've been out tracking with him before. The man sounds like a truck crashing through the trees when he walks. Even if we do cross paths, we'll hear him long before he catches wind of us. Uh, yeah, when you, you click, your computer just explodes. Potentially. <laughs> um... We could always do a movie night later, but right now, my viewers come first. They demand cryptids, and I am duty-bound to give them what they so crave. Now put on the skunk ape, skunk ape costume. <laughs> I swear to God! Like, literally, I will put on the costume, Stella. I don't mind lying to the internet. Just let's let's Here. not go out we'll, there and we'll die. We'll put Gretchen over our head, and yeah, we'll yeah, romp yeah. around yeah. out of focus in the woods. Yeah, it'll be great. It'll be fantastic. Not in the woods. Maybe in the backyard. Uh, much better. Much safer. <laughs> um, why does the pug look like that? I think just because she's old. She's real old, is what old it seems pug. like. Yeah. yeah, she's real old. And pugs look silly when they're young <laughs> anyway. <It's true. laughs> so, yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, God. There's no shaking you, is there? <laughs> oh, fine. There's no shaking you, is there? Uh, you'll just follow me until I finally relent and go monster hunting with you. I promise. It'll be fun. And safe. The trail's just up this way. Let's go. We're gonna die. We are gonna die. Ugh. <laughs> um, all right. This looks like a good shot. Mind holding the camera? She hands you the camera and takes position. This one for what? Oh, here we go. Oh, she holds. She has Gretchen in the shot. That's I love great. It. That's okay. perfect. Okay. Um, ahem. As night falls, my new assistant, the mysterious Sukari, and I find ourselves uh, on a high hill in the Blue Ridge Mountains, where we'll begin our hunt for the elusive yet pungent skunk ape. Uh, though mostly encountered in Florida, this possible relative of Bigfoot has been spotted all along the southern edge of the United States, including right in this very county. Here's hoping we get a glimpse tonight. We'll check back once we're on the trail. Until then, stay stay searching stellars. Oh my god, I could never say that. That could never be... Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> that could never be my, like, my sign-off thing. I could never say that. No way. Uh, this game takes place six days from now. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? That's so weird. That's so yeah. weird. What? That's so str That's so crazy. Um, oh, and you know, the Gretchen part. Oh, so oh. Cute. and keep digging, Gretches. That's so cute. That's so sweet. <laughs> uh. I don't, wait, what? Yeah, exactly. That's weird. That's super weird that it's, like, a date that's coming up, like, soon. That is yeah. fucking strange. Yeah, if we did strange. this next week, it would be the day after. Oh, that's too much. That's too freaky. I'm happy we did it this week. That's too much. That's too weird. Um, uh, I can take the camera off your hands for now. Uh, we'll be able to start the tracking scenes once the sun sets all the way. Okay. We're gonna die. Um, in the meantime, we get to take, uh, in all this beautiful scenery. It's gorgeous out here, don't you think? Okay, so because I picked the mystical option, uh, though you and Stella are back on your own, the unsettling feeling that settled in your gut earlier still remains. There's something wrong in these woods, though what it is still eludes you. Um, blah, blah, blah. oh god, there's so many options. Okay, uh, mystical, there's something wrong here. It's breathtaking, it's hard to take it all in with all the danger. Um, being this far from civilization stresses me out. I've seen better, not a fan of bugs. I'm a little distracted from not wanting to be out here anymore. Quietly looking, there it is. All right, uh, quietly look into Stella's eyes and remain silent. Uh, I want to be gay, but I'm also very nervous. Do we just be gay? It might be the safest option. <sighs> it's probably really pretty out there, though. You know? Probably. Like, fuck. I mean, that's one of the nice things about rural places. True, true. Uh, it's breathtaking, and the air is so clean and fresh. I feel like I'm breathing for the first time. It is. I'm glad you came out here. 
uh, Gretchen has no appreciation for beautiful mountain vistas, uh, and it gets old saying, wow, into the empty expanse every time I come out here. Uh, it's nice to have someone to say wow with. It's so gay! I love it so much! Mm -hmm. We can't just be gay together, though. Someone's gonna die. It is gonna be me or her, and I hate it. <sighs> uh, your quiet moment with Stella is broken by a loud, percussive snort. Hopefully that's Gretchen. <laughs> uh, what was that? Oh no, this gay skunk ape has found us. It's Duke back with his shotgun. Uh, death has come for us at last! <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world! Um, I mean, what was that? I'm not saying any of that other weird shit. <laughs> um, haha, no need to panic. That's just the sound deer make when they want to warn the rest of the herd about big scary predators like us. Let's check it out. Why? Why would we check it out? Why would we do that? Oh, what? To prove them oh, right. Something that bad's going to happen when she turns on that light. This is a horrible idea. We're, oh, God. Satan's going to be there. Oh, God. Uh, as you and Stella hear the footfalls of animals retreating into the woods, she reaches for her flashlight. Yeah, why are we going towards the sound? Because we're idiots. We can't just be gay and happy. We're stupid. <laughs> yeah, when, traditionally when you hear a sound in the woods, unless you're specifically like a hunter... You you leave. Yeah, literally. Yes, you leave. You go. You say goodbye. Do you have a gun still? Like literally, yeah. We have nothing except for a flashlight, apparently. Oh god. Okay. Um. Oh god. <gasps> What's in its face? Oh, there's something wrong with that deer. I don't like it. It looks like it has one of those tree tumors that I see sometimes, and they make me sad. A single yeah. deer remains behind, staring down the beam of the light while Gretchen whines and pulls at her harness. Fair? Me too, Gretchen. What yeah. the fuck? Relatable. What the fuck? The deer... Oh, can talk to us. Oh my god. Oh my god, I was so confused there for a second. I was like, why is this Pain. deer speaking English? Rot. Decay. Jesus fuck, we're gonna die. Oh god. <laughs> oh no, Gretchen, no. A deer, let me at him. How dare he infringe upon my dearest Stella's personal space. Let me at him. Oh god, Jesus. And then it's gone. <laughs> Fucking Christ, we're gonna die. We are going to die. Oh, jeez. Uh, jeez, Gretchen, calm down. You're gonna hurt yourself. Oh, my. It seemed I was consumed by... Oh, wait, that's you! <laughs> that's a dog. Oh, my. It seems I was consumed by a blinding rage. How very unladylike. <laughs> what must you think of me? That's great. <laughs> uh, she cannot handle deer. Uh... When she gets like this, I usually have to pick her up and hold her. She has a bad habit of slipping her harness when she wants to go after something. You're too much of a potato. Uh, and they don't make harnesses to fit potatoes, do they? <laughs> That's so Aww. cute. Um, I think that deer was threatening us. Uh, there was something wrong with that deer. Why do you bring her with you? Well, that got my heart rate up. I'm ready for the hunt. Uh, let's see here. Oh, hold on. Boop. Got a... It's... Oh, man. All right, uh, here we go. Man, that's easy. Um, okay. Uh, no, my heart is not ready for the hunt. It's, it's never too late to turn back. Remain silent. Um, I mean, I know why you bring your dog. I, I get it. I do. Um, yeah. there was definitely something wrong with that deer. Like, there for just sure. was. Even if you can't hear deer talk. Yeah, like, yeah, even if you can't hear it threaten you in English, it's still like, what the fuck is happening? Um, there was something wrong with that deer. Did you see its face? Now that you mention it, there was something a little off. Stella, are you blind? Oh my god. I mean, it might have been moving faster for her. Like, the speed of sound? Like, it was huge. <laughs> it was like half the size true, of its whole true. head. It had a, a growth. Two growths. Two. Growth on growth. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I bet it was an abscess, maybe a tumor. It's not like wild animals can get those taken care of, so they just get bigger and bigger. Poor thing. Uh, but there's not much we can do about it. Okay. Uh, this is. It's never too late to turn back. I don't actually think I'm really cut out for this sort of thing. Those deers. Uh, those deer genuinely spooked me. Um, 
I don't know if you want me weighing you down. Don't be so hard on yourself. You just aren't accustomed to the sounds of the forest yet. And I don't want to be, because it's gross outside. Yeah. What do you mean? Ugh. This is me trying to ask to go back to town, Stella. Seriously. I... Stella, I've had to go to the bathroom since, like, 11 a.m., and it is now nighttime. Probably Please. not anymore, frankly. Please, Jesus. <laughs> um, uh, when you go on your first few uh, night hikes, uh, everything sounds like some horrible monster that's just waiting for an opportunity to shred you to bits, but eventually you realize it's mostly deer and raccoons. Two things I would not fuck with, by the way. I'm just saying... <laughs> Like no, that's a very fair point. Don't no, mess thank with you. Deer. No, and raccoons? No, absolutely I mean, just not. Stay away from raccoons. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> um, which probably won't go after you. That's just a lie, Stella. <laughs> uh, here, let's take a quick snack break before we go. Uh, we get into the night's activities. Maybe some food will help settle your nerves. Okay. Apricot trail mix. Uh, I don't know what that is. M Ms. Um, yeah, as you settle down to rest, Stella breaks out, uh, breaks open a bag of assorted snacks. Ooh, extra M&Ms. Take a snack bar. Take the dried apricots. Uh, take the sesame sticks. No thanks, I'm not really hungry. I mean, I like dried apricots, but I also like trail mix and M&Ms. They're both uh, good. Extra M&Ms. Classic choice. It never fails to satisfy. I like to mix my own... Uh, to make sure it has the best stuff. And I use uh, dried cherries instead of raisins. That's interesting. I've never tried that. Oh, so you're still getting some, some fruit. That's good. Um, maybe it's a bit of a controversial pick, but even as someone who's passionate about dried fruit, I simply cannot abide raisins. Fair. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'm not raisins a huge raisin for fan life. myself. Raisins for life. <laughs> um, I can't say I have... A horse in this race, it's all good. I can't say I have a horse in this race, it's all bad. It's all food. Silently tear into it. Um, I don't really feel strongly one way or another against raisins unless they're in cookies, and I don't think they belong in cookies, personally. Yeah, no, um, they have no place in cookies. Yeah, no, uh, but... You can put nuts or chocolate chips or something instead. I mean, if it's an oatmeal raisin cookie, you could just have an oatmeal cookie with, like, some icing on it, and that's just as good, if not better. Yep. Like, the just Improvement. Don't need... You just don't eat them. Um, uh, yeah, I, it's all food, though. I don't care. <laughs> uh, it's all... I, I can't say I have a horse in this race. It's all food. It will nourish my body in the coming hours. That's fair, I suppose. F uh, I suppose food is food, but dried cherries are the best. That's just a fact. Sure, Stella. That's fine. I've never tried them, but that's sure. <laughs> I've tried cherries, but not dried cherries. Yeah. Um, you and Stella settle down... On an overlook, snacks in hand, as the quiet sounds of evening wildlife wash over you. Gretchen gnaws a stick, distracted for the time being. Um, so tell me what it's like in Bikini Bay. Do you have a house? An apartment? Do you live with family? Roommates? Pets? Uh, tell me what it's like to be Sukari. Um, no, I'm a VTuber. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a VTuber. I'm a degenerate on the internet. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Uh... I live in a closet in a house with ten roommates. I live in a doorless apartment that floods whenever it rains. I, these things aren't legal. Uh, I live in an apartment with a difficult roommate. I live in a 12 by 12 shed in someone's yard. I live in an internet cafe. I'd rather not say shrug and remain silent. <laughs> Why are all these options so weird? Um, I, mean, I live in an internet cafe. These are your options. This is so funny. Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> Maybe I live in an internet cafe? <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, hold on. Let's see here. Uh, I get, of all these options, I would most prefer to live in a dingy studio apartment because at least I mean, that's, that's with myself. Yeah, that's the best. And I can clean it, like, you know. Yeah, it's just, you know, not great. Yeah, I, I live alone in a dingy studio apartment, which I hate that sentence. Um, and it's a mixed bag, I hate it. Uh, it's a mixed bag, yeah, and it's a mixed bag. At first it was kind of nice to finally have a space that was just mine, but now it feels cramped. That makes no sense, but okay. 
Um, it's like I'm stuck in a closet alone and no one can come let me out because I chose this for myself and as far as they know, I'm happy being there. The lights flicker, the toilet is constantly getting backed up because the laundry, uh, oh, the landlady upstairs keeps flushing her cat's litter, it smells like cigarettes for some reason, and it's home to an extremely durable population of roaches. But I guess it's home. Yeah, that's not a mixed bag. It's that's really not. I'd rather just die. Um, <laughs> I do what I can to spruce up the place. I got a plant. You know how they say living things are supposed to brighten up a room. Um, but not roaches. No. Like what? <laughs> um, when you put it like that, I wonder if staying in that old mansion is a step up or a step down for you. Maybe just a step sideways. Uh, have you tried looking for a different place or maybe finding a roommate? There's got to be a better apartment than uh, that in a big city like Bikini Bay. Um, uh, I mean, I guess I'd just be saving up for something better. Um, oh, I hear you. I've been saving up for something better. Oh, yeah? So what do you do for a living? Um, I build programmatic ads for a company no one's ever heard of. I sell arts and crafts on Etsy. I'm a first year associate at a big law firm. I'm a streamer! Oh there god. There it is. I'm a student, I'm a teacher, I'm in the service industry, I'd rather not say remain silent. Oh fuck, fuck. I'm actually a streamer. Oh no way! A fellow content creator. That's awesome. I knew we had a lot in common. Sukari. Uh, what sort of streams do you do? <laughs> Nothing. I'm gonna die. <laughs> um, I mostly just talk to people. I play music. I teach people how to cook. I do art. I play video games. Ooh. Do I talk more or do I play video games more? Probably talk. I talk to people a lot. I feel like that's really like that's more true. my thing. Uh, I mostly just talk to people. Sometimes it's about my life. Sometimes I spend a few hours giving folks advice. Um... That sounds really chill, Sukari. I'll have to check it out sometime this week. Uh, how do you like it? Um, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I used to like it, but now I don't know. I, I like it. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Most people I meet tend to raise their eyebrows when I tell them what I do, but I love it. It might not be much, but it makes me feel like I'm taking control of my own destiny. Um, believe me, I can relate. I don't think I'd give up what I do for anything. A crisp breeze passes over you. Um, what about you? What's your living situation? Uh, Gretchen and I live in a little house just outside town. Uh, it's actually the house I grew up in, so it has a lot of pleasant memories attached to it, and I'm glad I could keep it in the family. Uh, my pleasure. My, uh, my great-great-grandfather built that house, and he must have done a great job because it's just as sturdy as it's ever been. Um, At least somebody here knew how to build a house. <laughs> right. Uh, do you live alone there? Yeah, the place used to belong to my parents, but they're not around anymore. And the holler's a small enough place that other folks don't need roommates. Um, why would I say that? Why would I say, oh, because they're dead? Why would I say That's that? That's pretty rough. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, jeez, I'm so sorry. It's okay, you didn't know. And I've done my morning. You don't have to watch your tongue around me or anything. Life goes on. Um, oh, God, why do they want me to say this to somebody? I'm not going to, but why do they want me to say this to someone so bad? That has been uh, coming up a lot. Literally. No need to overshare. Wow, like, fuck you. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess your character just really wants to take me in a club <laughs> with dead moms. Like, no. I just, I'm sorry for your loss. Like, I'm sorry for your loss. I, I don't know what else to say. I'm just so sorry. Haha, -ha, that's okay. I know it's weird. Especially since we just met today. Whoa. My st oh, that's you. What the fuck was that sound? My stars. What was that? Oh, uh, that sound wasn't meant for human ears. Whatever lurks behind the tree line is something best left unseen. But the events of this evening were already set in motion long before you stepped foot in Scarlet Hollow. There's no turning back now. 
Yeah, no, I don't know what it was either. So we're gonna find out. Oh god. Uh, Stella immediately packs her bag and slings it over her shoulder. Um, there's something terrible out there, Stella. Jesus Christ. Skunk cave. <laughs> More deer. Please tell me that was a raccoon. Say nothing. Um, yeah, that, that's something I would definitely say. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Whatever made that sound, I've never heard anything like it. And it's close. Here, hold Gretchen's leash for me and let's check this out. Okay. You and Stella inch towards the tree line as she shines her flashlight into the woods. Uh, okay, yep. You stay close, Sukari. I wouldn't want any harm to befall you. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, as you po- Oh, wait. Yeah, as you approach, a series of weak clucks calls out from a nearby bush. Oh, God. It's all pain. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Uh, maybe Duke's birds weren't... <gasps> oh, no! Oh, oh, what? What happened? I have no idea. What the, what the hell was that? Hold on, I gotta play that back. Holy shit. I'm guessing it must be maybe two, three feet tall? Doesn't look hairy, either. So I think we can rule out skunk ape! Oh my god, Stella. Jesus Christ. But whatever it is, it has one of Duke's chickens. It looks like it's headed north. Let's go after it. No! No! Let's not! Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I was never on board with this whole thing. Um, uh, do we have to? Do, do we have to? Now's not the time to hesitate. If we're catching this thing, we've got to go now. Yeah, but what if we didn't catch it? That'd be great, right? <laughs> You know, right? Right? Oh, uh, uh. Stella sprints into the woods in pursuit, leaving you no choice but to run after her. Uh, Gretchen excitedly pulling you along by her leash. Great. Catch it with what exactly? Yeah, exactly. Oh, shit. What happened? Did you fall? Stella, my darling companion. Are you all right? I guess she tripped or something. I guess. Oof. Um, we're gonna die out here? Oh my god. Okay, um, just, are you okay? Haha, uh -huh, yeah, I'm alright. I just tripped on something weird. Oh no, that poor thing. It must have been one of Duke's- Oh Jesus, it's still alive. Oh god. Don't go near that. No, don't- Don't go near that. Jesus, Stella, don't go near that. That thing is diseased. Stella, be careful. That thing doesn't smell right. Mm. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm not gonna touch it. Not with my hands, at least. I swear to God, Stella. She's fucked My Christ. tongue. <laughs> Ew, gross. <laughs> um, I'm going to eat this chicken. <laughs> no! <laughs> um, and hey, I'm sorry that this is turning out to be so grisly. I swear that's not, that it's not normally like this. We can go home after I film this, if that's what you want. Yes! That's what I want! That's what we've been asking for all night! <laughs> uh, yes, please! Yes, please, this is way more than I bargained for. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, this is unexpected, that's for sure. Um, let me just film this for one second and we can head back. Ahem. It seems we've found one of Duke's chickens, folks. Um, and she's not looking good. I'm hesitant to speculate, but she definitely seems to have some sort of growth under her skin. Could be a tumor, could be something else. Either way, I don't think there's much that can be done for her at this point. Jeez, I'm gonna have to put up some massive content warnings for this video. What the fuck? Hey, do you hear that? There's something out there all around us. I can smell it. Oh, there are so Jesus. many of them. Oh, God. Jesus fuck Christ. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, dude. What in the Sam Hill are you doing, two doing out here? Didn't I tell you to? Why is it saying get out while you can? Oh, my God. 
Oh no. But Birdie? Oh, Birdie, what's wrong, darling? Good God. Oh no. Did y'all see what did this to her? No. No. No, but I'm sure. Can I'm you hear sure something? Can, yeah. I mean, I can you not? No, I can't hear a thing. Oh, okay. It must be really like subtle then, because yeah, it's basically saying like, get out of here while you still can. Uh, get away. Like, you're you're gonna die here. Like, nothing positive. It's are not you saying hearing that stuff, Chat? Is I don't that know what they are. Hold on one second. Sorry, one second. Okay, so you were hearing that lemon. <laughs> yeah, it must just be the way that I'm sharing the screen. So you're still catching it. That's good. We'll be all right. Grab a, a sorry. blanket. Sorry, BB needed something. Sorry. Oh, of course. <laughs> um, okay, but now I'm scared. Yeah, I'm actually scared. Um, uh, did y'all see Sounds like Chad can hear it. Yeah, no, no, yeah. I, I would think so because they seem to be scared too. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so no, but I'm pretty sure we can hear him. We caught a glimpse of something earlier. It wasn't us. Please don't shoot me. Uh, why should I tell you anything? <laughs> Who is this person? Half of these responses are for someone who's just a total bitch. Like, and not in the funny way. Like, in the bad way. Um, yeah, this game kind of wants you to play as a uh, huge bitch. It really does, and I don't know why. <laughs> um, so, no, but I'm pretty sure we can hear them. That, I think, is actually, like, 100% accurate. Uh, we didn't see whatever did this to your bird, but I think we can hear them right now. Oh, no. oh, don't tell me you're all caught up in Stella's nonsense. Oh, no. Duke, I'm so sorry. We were on the trail when we found her like this. Put that camera away, for God's sake, girl. I don't want to be in another one of your videos. No one needs to see me like this. No, that's fair. No one needs to see Birdie like this. You wouldn't put her online, would you? Not when she's like this, all swollen and hurting. I hope not. Uh, Duke, did you hear what Sukari said? I think they're coming closer. You stay away from my Stella, you mongrels. Just so you know, what they're saying is leave, get out of here, leave and never return. Um, like, you'll die here. Like, they're Real still charmers. saying that. It's, yeah, it's fucking gross. Oh, God. <laughs> Come out, you sons of bitches. Oh, oh, God, I'm so afraid to click this. Oh, God. Duke, don't shoot them. We have no idea what'll happen. You hear that, Stella? That ain't the sound of something peace-like. Whatever these things are, they'll pay for what they did to my girls. Oh, fair. Come on. Yeah, no, Lemon. Come on, Duke. <laughs> Come on, you. Whatever your name is, grab that flashlight and help me line up a good shot. Oh, God. I can feel the white-hot rage from earlier starting to wash back over me. I'm going after them. Oh, God. No, Gretchen, definitely not you. <laughs> no. As the creatures in the tree line grow louder and more numerous, Gretchen violently strains against her harness. Quick, they're closing in on us. Gretchen, what? I'm diving for Gretchen. What do you mean? She's alive. What the fuck is that? You dive forward and scoop Gretchen into your arms just before she manages to wriggle out of her harness. Your eyes fixate on the dark tree line over Duke's shoulder. What the fuck is that? God damn it. <gasps> oh. oh my god. You hear a body hit the ground and then quiet as the chaos fades and the sounds of nature creep back in. 
Gretchen, Sukari, Duke, are you all right? Bitch, where were you? What? What do you mean? You have two hands. What? Like, why couldn't why you, you hold? Have like, your flashlight on. Literally, I was holding your dog. What were you doing this whole time? Like, even if you were holding the camera, that's one hand. It's like yeah. not 1972. Like, the camera's not that big. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, oh my god. Um. Yeah, I'm just glad we're not dead. Duke is obviously dead, and I know that, so... Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. You? I'm okay. What happened? Did I lose myself again? I apologize for being so easily shaken up. I'll do better. Gretchen, here, I'll take her. My poor little pup. Thanks for watching out for her. D Duke... Are you okay? It's a series wrap on Duke, folks. <gasps> ah! um, oh my god. Oh my god. Duke, holy shit. What do we do now? What the hell are we supposed to do? Finally! Finally, selling Sella having the appropriate fucking reaction after half of Duke's head is gone. Yeah, Thanks, she just needed someone Stella. to die. Thanks, Stella. Jeez, fuck Christ. Oh, God. Oh, God. We have to go after those things. No, we don't. No, we do not. Uh, we've got to go to the police. Yes. Uh, let's just forget this ever happened. No. Can we please just go home? No. We have to go to the police at this point. Someone had half their head fucking blown off. Not like I think the cops are especially useful, but, like, <laughs> there's no one else that we can talk to about this. Yeah, I mean, someone <laughs> like, has to. <laughs> someone has to do body this. Body and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> What do you mean? What do we do? We've got to take this to the police. A man's dead. Yeah. What happened to Duke? Is something wrong with him? Why won't he get up? Oh, I no! think the dogs will understand that. No, Gretchen, no. You're right. You're right. And we have footage of what happened here. But it's so dark and shaky. It all just seems so unbelievable. We need more footage. Come on. Let's go after them before we lose our chance. Bitch! Seriously? <laughs> Ma'am? <laughs> um. <laughs> Lead the way. Are you sure this is a good idea? Are you nuts? A man is dead, Stella. Yeah, what? Are you nuts? A man is dead, Stella. I, hey, yeah, Stella. you're right. Let's head back and call the police. My phone should get reception once we're walking, or once we're back at the main road. Yes, ma'am. What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh. What is happening? What are these things? Oh my god! As you and Stella quickly make your way back through the woods, the unearthly whispers of creatures unknown once again surround you. Fucking Christ, bro. Oh god, they're back. Just ignore them. Say nothing. Oh god, they're back. I know. We can... We just have to keep pushing forward. So she can hear them, too. She's not... Stupid. Yeah. Oh my god! They're like... Oh, getting real close. Oh We're almost there! Bitch. As you and Stella reach the main road, the whispers fade back into the sounds of nature. It sounds like they've stopped following us. I certainly can't smell that stench anymore. Um, I should get reception now that we're back on the main road. Let me find my phone so I can call the sheriff. You feel a buzz in your pocket. Six missed calls from Tabitha. Oh, yeah, because if she doesn't get service, then neither do we out there, I yeah, imagine. Yeah, no. Um, and 13 text messages. Oh, no. Ooh, <laughs> we're in trouble. Uh, yo, I would collapse and... Yeah, me too. I would also die. Uh, like, just... Yeah, I would just die. <laughs> and I also yeah, no. forgot about Tabitha. Like, honestly, I just did. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so... And Other stuff was messages. more pressing. Death... You know, death. <laughs> um, call her, text her that you're okay. Text her that she oh, needs to calm down. Oh, did you see the hot rate? Oh, no. Thank you, though. I probably should hydrate more when I do visual novels. That's a good idea. A lot of talking. It is a lot of talking. Um, okay. Uh, call her, text her, text her. She needs to calm down. Tabitha seems worried. Yikes, Tabitha's been blowing on my phone. I didn't think Tabitha, Tabitha would be so needy. Uh, I'm in trouble. It's nothing important. Um, yeah, just yikes. <laughs> She's blowing up my phone. Uh, I'm, 
I guess she must be worried about you. But, uh, first things first. Let's call the police. Stella pulls out her phone and dials. Hello? Earl? It's Stella Richmond. I'm up the mountain on the... As Gina Trail? Um, Duke is dead, Earl. Shotgun. It happened right in front of us. There's, there's something in the woods. You gotta hurry. Okay, okay, yeah. Are they really gone? Yeah, I think we're okay, but hurry. Jesus, Earl. Who's gonna tell Bo? I guess now we wait. Oh, yeah, because Bo's his son. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these guys look really useful. Um, <laughs> Super it, useful. Right. It takes a little while, but eventually a patrol car arrives at the scene. Out of it walk two officers, Sheriff Hugby, a friendly older man, and Deputy Franklin, a serious man wearing sunglasses despite it being the middle of the night. Oh, no. That doesn't sound yeah, useful. Yeah, scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... See? Right there. A thing jumps out of the woods, then the gunshot goes off. You could be him if What, you're... in the Sam Hill? <laughs> what is that? Some kind of Pillsbury Doughboy? <laughs> Could have been a naked maniac. <laughs> Could have been a naked maniac. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> no, no. There was more than one. They chased us through the woods. Whatever they are, they aren't human. And they killed Duke. Uh-huh. Now we're going to have to confiscate this camera, Miss Richmond. If you don't mind, this is evidence. But I... Okay. Let me just turn it off to save the battery. Here you go, Deputy Franklin. Yep. We appreciate your compliance with the law. We'll get the team out in the morning to retrieve the body. But for now, Sheriff Hugby and I... Please, call me Earl. <laughs> Earl and I will escort you and... <laughs> who are you, exactly? That's Sukari. She came into town today for the funeral. Sukari, as in... Tabitha's cousin. Yeah. Damn, didn't think you'd actually show. <laughs> we'll escort you both back to town. If there's a naked maniac on the loose, <laughs> it's best you don't walk back on your own. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> it's just so clearly not a naked maniac. <laughs> Definitely a naked maniac. <laughs> it's, I mean, technically, you know what, I mean, actually, they were naked. They were naked. <laughs> they were nude. I mean, as He's, are most animals he... in cryptids, but... It's more right than skunk ape. So, you know. so true. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't a. Never mind. Why aren't you going out there tonight? There's a dead body in the woods. Those things out there could attack someone else. Well, it ain't exactly like old Duke is gonna is going anywhere at this <gasps> point. We'll still be out there in the morning. That's horrible. Oh my god. Mm. Animals will come and literally mess with eat him. <laughs> like, cause why wouldn't we, they? Oh my God. We only have a skeleton crew at the moment. I guess. Monday nights are Dep Deputy Derrickson's bowling nights. Oh my fucking God. <sighs> we'll be on any more we'll be on alert for any more reports of naked mate. Oh no, this is the deputy. We'll be on alert for any more reports of naked maniacs, but retrieving Duke will just have to wait. Oh my god. <laughs> now, if you'll kindly step into the vehicle, we can return you safely to your home. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> okay, uh, do we have to ride back with you? We can just walk. Those creatures left. We'll be fine. I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist. For your own safety. Oh, that's fair. Stella sighs. Okay. Thank you. You can ride up front with me, little lady. That is, if your mama permits. I certainly cannot turn down some extra pets and affection, especially after the ordeal we've all been through tonight. <laughs> I love Gretchen so much. Um, haha, <laughs> sure, Earl. Uh, you can hold Gretchen on the way back to town. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> you two stay out of trouble. We'll have this all sorted out in the morning. Just get a good night's sleep. Oh, jeez. And you, whatever your name was. Kari. This was IP freely. I know, I saw that! <laughs> <laughs> I saw that after sure. I clicked. <laughs> <laughs> sure. You're in town for the funeral? Good. Don't you go leaving before then. I imagine we'll need to talk ask you a few questions about everything you've seen tonight. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Stella, keep an eye on her for us. Make sure she doesn't get into any more trouble. Excuse you. <laughs> you all have a good night now. Yeah, I bet we will. <laughs> bye bye, Gretchy. You'll have a lovely evening. If any bugaboos give you trouble, you know how to get in touch. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sheriff Earl. That man's gonna die in the woods. <laughs> mm hmm. <sighs> and here you are, back in town, away from the woods, with no one but Stella in sight. And Gretchen. And Gretchen. And Gretchen. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> um. That's a mouthful, yeah. Yeah. They seemed a little blasé about everything. Keep an eye on me. Are they for real? I can't say I'm surprised. Why did I ever agree to go in the woods with you? How are you holding up? I am curious. I hope you don't mind me asking, but why on earth did you ask him if we could walk back? Haha, -ha, I just don't like cars, cars at all. Uh, they're rolling death machines, if you ask me. Uh, okay. Sorry really? if I on roll roads. I don't fucking know. <laughs> um, yeah, that's weird. <laughs> sorry if I weirded you out. God, what a night. Um, Stella did make a lot of poor decisions. You're she entirely right. She really <laughs> did. She really did. Just um, one after the next. Yeah, I don't have like any argument for that. That's just a fact. She made poor choice after poor choice after poor choice, and didn't listen to anything we had to say, which was like annoying. Honestly. Uh, but, like, you know, listen, hey, sometimes when you're trying to be gay, you just gotta put up with things. It's just like any yeah, other I mean, sort making of... Making bad decisions is a big part of it. Yeah, any sort of other romantic thing. You just gotta do stupid shit. Maybe potentially die on a first unofficial date. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> just trying to be gay in the woods. <laughs> just trying to be gay. Uh, they did seem blasé about everything, though. That is weird. Uh, they sure seemed a little blasé about a man's death. Um, I can't believe... Especially for someone, like, in a small town when everybody Literally. knows each other. Yeah, no, that probably means, like, they were friends. Or something like that. Yeah. Like, at least kind of. Or at of. least knew him for a long time. Yeah. Like, it's just so strange. Um, yeah, I can't believe they're waiting until the morning to even start looking for him. Who knows what those things are doing to his body right now. Oh. I believe that they are well-intentioned, if in over their heads. Truth. <laughs> um, and what's worse is I think they implied that you're a suspect even after we showed them all that footage. Uh, I'm screwed? No fucking way. They have to pin it on somebody, the truth will get out. Even if they don't believe that footage those things are out there in the woods and something's telling me they're not going away yeah no kidding but it's okay i'm not going to let anything bad happen to you oh nor will i though i have little understanding of police work <laughs> understandable <laughs> you're a dog <laughs> um yeah i'm a little detective hat yeah oh my god yeah like the little like the little construction hats Oh my god! Mm -hmm. um, uh, I was there, I filmed the whole thing, and th at the very least, it'll never hold up in court. What the fuck? I should never have to go to court! <laughs> like, what? Yeah, no, they shouldn't. With what evidence would they try to take you to court? None! Uh, and it won't get to that point either, because we're gonna do a little investigating of our own. Fucking Christ, Stella. You need to stop, Stella. Please stop, Stella. Why can't we just be gay in peace? 
<laughs> I just want to be gay in peace. That's all I want. <sighs> We've got to find out more about those things. If we can get clear footage, or better yet, trap one of them. You're on crack, Stella. What? What? <laughs> There's no way they can blame you for what happened. The library doesn't open for a while, but I've read every book on cryptids they have and never came across anything like this. Hmm. There is someone in town who might have uh, some useful information. My friend's mom. Her place isn't far. We should head over there before it gets any later. Why? Well, sure. Oh Why god. not? Let's keep this nightmare going. Oh my god. Um. Uh, oh, you probably should check in on him. I probably should. I feel like we could at least read a text. I know, right? I should probably check in on Tabitha. Uh, my friend's place is on the way back, and stopping by shouldn't take long. You sure you don't want to stop in first? I know I wouldn't want to head up that mountain road by myself after everything that's happened tonight. Oh, I didn't think of that. You I don't have a car. I don't have a fucking car. I was thinking of texting her back, not like, yeah. going home immediately. But... Yeah, no, 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 yeah. Um, when you put it like that. Sure, let's do it. Awesome, let's go. I'm glad you're sticking I'm it out. I'm glad though. you're sticking why? it out oh, with Jesus us. Oh, Jesus Christ, Gretchen, why? Why, dog, why? <laughs> it's always so nice to have some an extra companion. <sighs> Gretchen wants me to die. Gretchen wants me to die. Gretchen was trying to streak into the woods and get killed. Yeah, like literally, Gretchen wants me to die. She wants me to be dead. <laughs> the no. cat was at least up front about it. Literally. I hope she's still awake. There's something foul creeping up behind us. Oh, God. You better be fucking kidding me. No. No! No! Sorry. No! I hate it. Jesus. What the fuck is that?! Ugh. You and Stella oh, turn to see Duke? a shadow. I don't know! Just turn to see a shadowy figure staring at you from across the road. You didn't hear it approach. Ugh. I hate it so much. Whoever this is, its presence has chilled you to your soul. Before you can respond, the door behind you swings open. An older woman stands in the entryway. Go home, Wayne. I can't help you tonight. I guess- What? His name is Wayne? <laughs> what? I'm so confused. You look back and the figure is already gone, disappeared into the shadowy- Or the shadows of the night. I'm sorry about that, Stella. Some people just can't be helped. What brings you out here so late? And who is this? Uh, hi, Miss Forsyth. This is Sukari. Is it okay if we come in? You and Miss Forsyth uh, briefly lock eyes. So blinding and overpowering is her aura that just looking at her feels like staring directly into the sun. Her gaze pierces entirely through you, and in that moment, you feel wholly known. What the fuck is this? Okay, sure. She's like you. <laughs> I guess. And then the moment passes, and you see only the woman before you. Uh, of course, of course, you're in luck. I just put on water for hibiscus tea. Well, that, actually, that was good. Um, and for goodness sake, you can call me Sybil. You're an adult now, after all. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, welcome to my little nook. Um, oh, cute. Super cute. This place always has the loveliest aromas. So cute. Uh, it's nice to finally meet you, Sukari. I was so sorry to hear about your mother. Uh, Vivian was such a lovely soul, and she's been sorely missed in the holler. And now poor Perlan is gone as well. Uh, do let me know if there's anything you need while you're in town. Uh, yeah, no. Definitely. Who was that outside? Just a very sick man. You don't need to be worried about him. Um, I don't? That's <laughs> um, not much of an answer. Uh, you knew my mom? Of course, dear. She was a good friend of mine for many years. She was such a lovely woman. You should come by sometime. I can delight you with unsavory tales of her youth. Okay. Um, how did you know that she died? 
Oh, Perlan was a chatty woman. Not much went on that I wouldn't get a full ear of. Bless her heart. Okay. I never met Perlan. Um, you don't have to pass on your condolences to me. I have no feelings about the woman. Ha, huh, that's fair, uh, child, but it seemed like the right thing to do. That's fair. Okay, we need your help. No, I mean, that's what you say. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, ah, yes, I suppose pleasantries can wait for another... I've said all the pleasantries there are, Sybil. <laughs> um, <laughs> can wait for another time. Uh, what's got you here so late? You seem troubled. Um, you know about weird stuff, right? unexplainable stuff I'm not sure I follow dear I know which oils to use for which aches I know a bit about classic spiritualism just what sort of unexplainable things are you talking about I'm a witch <laughs> uh, basically um, Duke was killed tonight by something in the woods oh my lord have you contacted the police yeah only cuz of me yes yeah, I was um, going to go run into the woods and die. Yeah, literally. Um, yes, and they didn't take it very seriously. They're not even looking for the body until tomorrow. Those things out there, I don't even know how to describe them. Hmm. I can't say I know much about local wildlife. My daughter has always had a brighter gift for nature than I have. Um, this wasn't this wasn't local wildlife, Miss Forsyth. Here, I can show you. Stella pulls a memory card out from her sleeve and pops it into her phone. She took the, the memory, memory card. card. Yes. Smart. Smart girl. And no, uh, very if, smart. Don't if, give it to the cops. Yeah. If they were asking for her camera, they probably don't know anything about anything. So, yeah. Smart. Good Good job. Um, I wasn't about to just let the police hold on to this. At least not before we had a chance to make a copy. Smart. Super smart. On board. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe you're withholding... Ev no, fuck that shit. Smooth. <laughs> uh, smooth. Yep. The cops wouldn't know what to do with that footage anyway. Imagine if they accidentally erased it. Or purposefully. Mm -hmm. um, exactly. I'll give it to them if they ask again, but for now, we can examine the footage for ourselves. Uh, Sybil watches it. Sybil watches it. Sybil gasps. Um, where was this? Up in the mountains to the northwest within the town limits yes I see is there a way to make the video bigger and louder if you can I need to plug the memory card into a computer I could go back and get mine uh, no need Kanika should still be awake she can lend us hers Kanika are we seeing Kanika I guess we are <laughs> uh, let's see here um, you better come with me, Stella. I'm sure she'll be more willing to help a, a friend than her nosy mother. <laughs> Kanika, come on out. We could use a little help. What, Mom? <laughs> uh, oh. Hey, Stella. And Gretchen, who's a good potato. Uh... <laughs> Kanika? Is it me? Am I the good potato? I most certainly hope I am. <laughs> I love it so much. It's so cute. Um, and a stranger. <laughs> what are you doing in my house? <laughs> um, uh, none of your business. I'm in your house. What? Hi, I'm Sikari. Tabitha's cousin? Yep. Uh, sweetie, we were wondering if we could borrow your laptop. Stella and her friend have a video to show us. It's really important, Kanika. Oh, okay. My room's a mess. I'll just bring it out there. I have Rel to close some tabs. Relatable. <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> um, heads up, Kanika. This is graphic. Duke got killed out in the woods tonight. It's on the recording. Wait, are you serious? Duke's dead? We can watch this without you. You know I have a harder stomach than any of our friends. I'm pressing play. Silence washes over the room as the video plays. Stella, what the hell is this? Mm, fair. Yep. This is far beyond my ability to contribute. 
I'll leave the thinking to you humans. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry either of you had to see this, but Sukari and I have no idea how to make heads or tails of it. Stella, are you okay? Did you get hurt? I'm fine. Really, I'm okay. <laughs> Bye, too. Thanks for asking. <laughs> well, I'm not fine. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> well, I'm not fine. The other three look, of you, look at you, unsure of what to say. Poor Duke. Poor Bo. Has anyone told him yet? Uh, we talked to the police. I hope they told Bo. But Earl and Deputy Franklin didn't seem to be in much of a hurry to do anything. I'll call him later tonight. Uh, but for now, we have something far more serious to discuss. What happened in the woods, we weren't supposed to see any of that. I agree, those things are still out there. More serious than a man's death. I didn't like joke anyways. Oh my god. Uh, I mean, yeah, whatever happened, <clears throat> whatever happened in the woods, we weren't supposed to see any of that. You're not wrong. Uh, these things, my grandmother called them ditchlings. They are a terrible omen. A sign of great suffering and destruction to come. Mom, come on. Whatever is doing this is serious. Stop scaring Stella and Sukari with this taily po crap. I don't know what that is. Um, a man just died. Have some respect. Kanika, sweetie, let your mother talk. The creatures themselves are harmless to people, despite their grisly scene in the woods. Um, how can you say that? Duke is dead. An unfortunate accident and nothing more. Just as birds flock before a storm, the ditchlings congregate where tragedy is soon to fall. To see one is to be cursed by fate. Well, great, we just saw, like, 30. Like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> why? Um, thanks for that, yeah. Yeah, thanks, I appreciate it. Um, Jesus, Mom, they've clearly had a rough night. They don't need this. It's okay, Kanika, this is helpful. Stella, whatever these things are, they aren't magic. We can't rule that out, not after what we saw. But fine, let's focus on what we know. Whatever they are, they're doing something to these animals. You saw the chickens in our video. What was that growth? Um... Uh... Hmm. Maybe they were making more of themselves? Oh. Ugh. Gross. I hate Gross. that. I hate that so much. Sybil's right about these things. They were clearly a warning. That's true. I think that's true. Uh, I have to agree with Sybil. I could clearly hear them telling us that this place is cursed and to get out while we still can. Spooky stuff. Wait, are you serious? I couldn't make out anything. It was just all garbled whispering to me. How interesting. Are you sure you're not just subconsciously rewriting your memories to match my mom's theories? Even if we were to assume for a moment that you and my mom were right, I'd still want to know what they're doing in the woods. Maybe what we're seeing here is some sort of parasitic larval stage, part of their life cycle. Uh, but I don't want to jump to any conclusions about uh, something, about something this out there. Not without doing some research or talking to a biologist. I'm sure there's a rational explanation that'll clear all of this up. Oh dear, I'd forgotten entirely about the tea I put on. Let me fix you, uh, fix you up a couple of cups. It'll help soothe your nerves. I don't know, it's getting late. I should get, uh, I should let Sukari get some rest. I ran her ragged today with all the hiking and running through the woods in terror. Uh, yeah, 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 you, you did. You did. Um, uh, <laughs> Um, uh, let's see here. Thank God this miserable night finally end. I'm tired of this shit. Uh, I just want to go yes, home. Yes, you can go sleep in the room full of dead people. Oh, seriously. Um, you don't have to leave on my account. Yeah, I'm ready to pass out. It was nice meeting you, though. Um. Uh, I would probably say you don't have to leave on my account, though. Honestly. I probably would. That sounds, yeah. I can stay up. This is important. Ha, huh, okay. Maybe it's that I'm eager to get home and start doing some research. I'll ask around on my usual forums to see if anyone uh, has information on ditchlings? Is that what you called them? That's right. 
You go on home now and do try to get some rest. Don't stay up all night on the, on the online. <laughs> um, let me get you some of my house-made peppermint tea to go. It really does wonders to soothe the soul. Bye, Stella. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? And call me if you need to talk. Thanks, Hanika. I will. I'll. I'll see you. Uh, bye, Sakari. Thank you, Kanika. I don't. I don't know you, but thanks. Yeah, you um, seem all right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's excellent, iced or warm. Uh, <laughs> though with the nights getting chillier, warm will probably be better. Uh, helps wake up the bones. Oh God. More rustling. Yeah, Lemon. Now Stella wants to go home. <sighs> Jesus Christ! There's more rustling in the woods. Um, be careful out there, both of you. Sybil turns and closes the door behind her. Yep. What an unfortunately short visit. Yep. <laughs> Alrighty, let's head back home. My home, I mean. Okay. <laughs> uh, and here we are. You're welcome to stay the night if you want. Oh, I mean, sure. Um... Hell yeah, sleepover! <laughs> uh, thanks, I'm terrified of being alone tonight. Thanks, I'm terrified of seeing Tabitha. Um, I, I wouldn't necessarily want to spend the night in, in that old house after that. No. But I feel like hell yeah. Stella's yes. also not a good decision maker. She, she's not. But she has a house that's probably not haunted, which is great. Um, or overlooking a cliff. That too, that too, that too. Um, and it's right here. You don't have to walk through the woods again. So true. And I feel like, I will say, I feel like, hell yeah, sleepover is like a little too much. But thanks, I'm terrified of being alone tonight is correct. Like, because yeah. I am. Um, thanks for the offer. I'm terrified of being alone tonight. Yeah, no kidding. I can't say I was looking forward to it myself. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, that's nice. Um, it doesn't take long for Stella to fix up the guest room for you. Uh, while it's certainly smaller than its counterpart at the estate, it's far better cared for. It... Oh, here we go. It's you. <clears throat> it's so exciting to have a guest. I can't remember the last time we've had company. That's so cute. Uh, make yourself at home. Um, you didn't have to do all this. Uh, what do you make of all this? Who is that guy outside of Sybil's? I should probably try calling Tabitha. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna hit the hay. Who, yeah. Who was that guy outside of Sybil's? Uh, there was something about his presence that chilled me to my soul. Wayne? I haven't really gotten to know the guy. I think he works in the mine. It might be worth looking into him. Um, so what do you make of all this? Gosh, I don't even know where to begin. Those creatures are out there, and Duke is dead. I know that some things uh, Sybil said were a little wild, but if she is right, and they are an omen, maybe we can chain things and stop whatever's going, uh, or whatever's brought them here before it happens. Um, uh, there has to be a more rational explanation. It couldn't hurt to poke around town. I don't know what else. Yeah, I don't know what to think. Yet. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, right. That's fair. We'll have to see uh, what tomorrow's research turns up. Makes sense. Um, uh, I guess you didn't have to do all this. Uh, you I feel know, like you kind of did. I, I know, right? Seriously. Uh, you know, you didn't have to do all this, right? Uh, you shouldn't have to worry about that. I'm glad the guest room is finally getting some use. Um, I guess I should. I don't want to call Tabitha. She's going to be mad at me. I don't want to. I'll talk to her tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. Uh, all right. I'm exhausted. I think I'm going to go pass out. Uh, get some rest, Sukari. I'll see you in the morning. I'm on the verge of passing out myself. What an exciting, if terrible, day. <laughs> Inappropriate, Gretchen. <laughs> Inappropriate. Uh, from the comfort of Stella's guest bed, the events of the past evening seem like something that happened to someone else. Though you can still clearly picture the terror you felt in those moments, for now, you're safe and you're warm. Eventually, the sun will rise and chase away the monsters and make them seem like nothing but bad dreams. Maybe tomorrow, if you're lucky, you'll wake up in the normal world and have a relaxing week in the mountains with a new friend. It's a nice thought. 
but deep down you can't help but worry that things will only get worse. From behind closed doors, you can faintly hear the sounds of quiet sobs. I mean, that makes sense. Mm-hmm, it sure does. It sure does. Oh, I don't like those eyeballs. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Yeah, the eyes. <laughs> I love the art. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. I think most of this was all done by Abby Howard, who's like a Canadian illustrator. Oh. She does oh. horror comics a lot. Stella's crying. Oh, yeah. No. Understandable, as she should. There's blood there. I don't love that. Uh, random farm animals? Okay. Oh, creepy hole. I don't love that. Yep. <laughs> oh, a pumpkin! A spooky pumpkin! Yeah, someone left a jack o' lantern out. I guess it is October 24th there. Wait a minute, 24, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Wait a minute, wait, 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 four. Oh my fucking god. I just realized the funeral's gonna be on Halloween. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh, that's a lot of locks. That's a lot of locks. And, uh... Alarming break on that door. Yep. Ooh. Scarlet Hollow. Uh, uh, almost enough to use tweak this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, I have enough to do that, but I haven't figured out what I'm going to use it for. <laughs> Uh, this is the end of episode one. You can pick up the rest of the game in early access on Steam. Episodes one through three are out now. Episode four is slated for this fall. Oh, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. so. I think I saw something about that. Oh, no. oh really? Okay, cool. Um, crazy. If you'd like to continue with the with this world state in episode two, please save your game now. Um, um, what I. Wait, there are many, oh, oh. Yeah, there's. I literally just never clicked it. <laughs> <laughs> um, return. Uh, continue. Okay, perfect. That's great. Nope, that's perfect. That's exactly what it would be. There you go. Because I can't continue because I don't have the game. Um, but that was so good. Yeah, Abby Howard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was so good. Um, amazing introduction. I agree. I definitely agree. Uh, I should make a remix about mouse with baby got back for the tweet. Why are you like this? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? What? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> You'll love us. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, no, uh, that's fair. <laughs> uh, the street is. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that, Lemon. Oh, that's thank really you. Nice of you. That's very, very, very nice of you. It was a lot of fun to do. Yeah. And you've been great hanging out. Yeah. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. We really appreciate you being here. Um, yeah, I've never done. Well, so I, I've done one other visual novel thing, but I just did it on my own. Um, and that was, I think I'd been streaming for like a month, maybe. <laughs> uh, so that was a while ago. <laughs> um, and I always wanted to do another one, but I didn't know like what to do, you know? Cause like, I, I don't know which stories are good or which like are boring or like whatever. So, you know, I didn't want to like waste anybody's time or anything like that. Yeah. And, and they vary a lot, right? Like you have yeah. some that are very like puzzle oriented or... Uh, ones like this that are very narrative. Mm -hmm. 
exactly. I like them both. I definitely do. Although I will say, I'm not especially good at, like, puzzles under pressure. So I feel like I would just get Thank nervous, you. you know? I think you uh, get chat to help out on that kind of thing. Like... Oh, maybe. I don't know. I guess. I've never done it, so I really have no idea. Um, the one other visual novel I did was very much so like this, um, where mm. it's like... They give you decisions that you can make. You pick one of those decisions. Then you go throughout the story progress, and yeah, like a branching decisions. Yeah, basically, like a there's a a name for it, and I can't remember what it is. Like a yeah, choose choose your own story or choose your yeah, choose your own adventure. Yeah, 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 that that that. Yep, twelve hour visual novel stream. I mean, Wolf, if what you're saying is you would never like to be able to speak to me again, then sure, my voice doesn't need to exist, I guess. Yeah? <laughs> Sounds good? <laughs> like, what? Oh my god. My voice For that, was... you just need, like, three or four more people to carry most of the other parts. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I mean... <sighs> Get a cast. Yeah, it's well, because that's the thing. Like, I... Obviously, I didn't know how many characters there would be. It could have been that this whole time there were four characters total, like... But obviously mm -hmm. there was way more than that. Just Tabitha um, and the cat. <laughs> if only. It's a story of Tabitha and her cat. Um, give me the power of ultimate hydrates. I Sure, I don't know how to do that. But if I could, I would. I um, mean, just in all caps, write hydrate. It has the same effect. <laughs> pretty much, honestly. Um, but yeah, no. I really liked that. I thought that was great. Um, I... We'll totally Sorry, buy so. that game because, like, it, it seems great. Hopefully, like, honestly, chat, even if you were just like, wow, that was boring. I didn't like that at all. I would still buy it, even if even if it didn't go over well. Just I played just, off stream. Yeah, I just played off stream because it's just I think the story is so good. And that's what I had heard from a lot of the reviews is that the story is so good. Like, it just gets better. Mm -hmm. It just keeps getting better. And if there's only three chapters out so far and a fourth chapter coming out soon, then, Shortly. you know, theoretically, you know, it's it, it'll just be even more good stuff. Um, I mean, I played Nekopara safe for work. You were probably the only person who can say that they played Nekopara safe for work and that I wouldn't be like, you're a fucking liar. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> I believe you, but for the most part, I'd be like, no, you didn't. <laughs> No, you absolutely didn't. Um, okay, yeah, I have this on my right wish list. Yeah. So, I do have it. And uh, so I will probably end up buying this. And, um, yeah, because it looks... It looks... Um, it looks like it is... Yeah, still in early access. I think because... Okay, so according to this... Yeah, if they're pushing out new bits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, according to this, they're going to have seven uh, chapters total, which I guess makes sense, because um, if it's, if you're going to be there for seven days, maybe that's how they're doing it, is that each chapter is a day. Oh, that makes sense. You know, like, why not? We did end at the end of the day. That makes... Yeah, mm -hmm. that's clever. It says, uh, you only have to survive a week, but you may not make it to the end in one piece. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's described as a uh, an immersive horror mystery with sharp writing, impactful choices, and meticulously hand-drawn art from award-winning graphic novelist Abby Howard. I love it. Sounds fantastic. Uh, yeah, good old Duke. He's very dead. It's, uh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Duke is very deceased. Um, I'm glad that it wasn't actually Duke's corpse that was talking to us at the parking lot. Oh my god, I thought that's what it was. And I was going to be like, I that's a different outfit. But, like, maybe... I was practically certain. Maybe he changed? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I hadn't paid much attention to his outfit, so I wasn't sure. I was like, was he wearing a jacket? Maybe he was wearing a jacket. Yeah, he was wearing, like, one of those old man jumpsuits, basically. Oh, of course. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. Oh, okay, so I'm looking at the, um... The, the, the like, traits page that I picked from. So there's, uh, the options were powerful build, so obviously you're really strong. Mystical. Wow. <laughs> mystical, which is what I picked. Uh, talk to animals, which is what I picked. Uh, street talk. smart, which I don't know how street smart would have been helpful. 
And, I mean, and, it means that you choose to not go out to the mountains in the first place. You're like, no, this is stupid. So I'm true. staying here. That's so true. And then the game just closes. Pretty smart. <laughs> yeah, it has a secret ending on the first day where you just catch a bat bus back out of town. <laughs> Probably. Um, there's a keen eye, which means you just, like, see things sooner and, and stuff, I guess. Adaptive. Yeah. Um, book smart, so you just know a lot of stuff, I guess. And hot. Did you just say hot? <laughs> hot! That's what it's called. It's a picture of a chili pepper. <laughs> That's great. So you're just so sexy that the ditchlings don't want to kill you, I guess. Uh, maybe. I when, don't know. When you walk into the to the diner, everybody turns to look at you for a different reason. Yeah, they're all just like, oh yeah, like she, yeah, she's super hot. Fantastic. Oh my god, That's you know what great. I just realized? So I had to pick my gender at the beginning of this game, and... Um, oh, I was wondering about that. Yeah, I, I picked I picked female because I'm a female. Yeah, obviously. Um, <laughs> but I wonder if Stella comes on to you. Yeah, I think she probably this. does. She probably does because it said that the gender selection does not impact gameplay. Oh, and I okay. was like, oh, that's nice. Like that's that's a good thing. Cool. But like, I can't imagine anything that she said being like normal to a dude? or yeah to a guy at all but it says yeah. very specifically that it does not impact gameplay or like anything at all um and they hmm. also have a like a gender neutral option so i mean that's cool yeah it's it's super cool it's just interesting but you're right the that it, it read as gay to me <laughs> that's because she's like, gay you had been... <laughs> yeah yeah she, she's super lesbian. maybe it's one of those things where it's like we don't change anything uh, so that, like, you can play it as whatever, but we did intend it to be a girl. I mean, I think that's probably the case, if you want me to be honest. Uh, hot sounds promising. Chili dog, yum. Oh, maybe. Uh, okay, yeah, in one of these stills, Stella is wearing a full-body jumpsuit, like, but with, like, a pin on it and, like, a, a larger collar and like the the legs are kind of scrunched up and she has sneakers on she's a lesbian yeah that is, there's no i would wear that date that uh, outfit on a date with a woman anytime absolutely yeah like that is that is, that would be a gay outfit for me uh yeah no she everything about her was super gay which is the best and no i'm a huge fantastic. fan yeah it's awesome like, get it, Stella? Yay. Yes, absolutely. I mean, not me. I'm gonna try to I flirt with you by but... taking you out to the woods. Yeah. I, oh my God. Seriously, uh, <laughs> she hasn't seen another woman in a very long time. So well, she, she thought it was just gonna be like setting up a camera and then like flirting with you. It just stuff actually true. happens. That's true. That's true. That does seem to be correct. Um, good night, Wolf. Sleep well. Good night, Wolf. Bye. Baby got back. Oh. <laughs> You two are going to be the death of me, I swear to God. Um, okay. Let's... No, we're going to give you life. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> um, okay. So, okay. Oh, okay. We've been going for like three hours and like 15 minutes. Um, hmm. Do you want to go to like, do you want to keep going or do you want to like stop it here since we just ended the chapter? I mean, it's very much up to you. It's like one thirty where you are. Yeah, it is. Um, we could play like a round of golf. We could cut it here. It's a really pretty good stopping spot. We could go check the Dinkum update. Whatever you feel like. Um, you know what? Well, let me check and see if anyone else is streaming. Because if there's no one else streaming, it's not like I'm sending anybody over to anybody. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Spinning in chair. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so... I'll join you. I will also spin in my chair. <laughs> <laughs> um, it looks like... Oh! Uh, Neko Toby is uh, streaming, actually. He's streaming um, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. I actually Ooh. never got a chance to play that, but I heard it's good. So that's actually... I think that's actually a good is one to, to, to do. The new one? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the new one. Mm -hmm. Yep. I saw, like, ads for it and stuff like that, but... <laughs> um, 
What is it? what? <laughs> What's happening? Uh Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys are ridiculous. Oh my god. You guys are ridiculous. <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> Both of you are ridiculous people. <laughs> I mean, this this all credit here goes to Wolf. I, I can't take credit for his... <laughs> his poetry. You cheered him on. <laughs> this is your fault. <laughs> I believed in him. <laughs> to be fair, I also believe in Wolf. But, See? So it's also your fault. Oh, good lord. It's all my fault, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> can't. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna raid Toby, and hopefully, um... I don't corrupt his, uh... His stream at all. <laughs> with our insanity. <laughs> but, um... I super enjoyed this. I'm really excited to buy it and keep playing. Um, honestly, so... I will definitely do that again. Um, I yeah, it was just like super fun. I just had like a super awesome. Yeah, time. no, it's great. So yeah, yeah. Gonna say baby got back as soon as I entered. Thanks, Wolf. I really appreciate that. Yeah, you do that. Mhm. Mm yeah, <laughs> yeah. You do that. <laughs> Not like you're going to bed. <laughs> just stay up. <laughs> to say baby got back. I can't. Um. <laughs> anyway. So we're gonna raid Toby. Uh, be polite, be nice, be courteous, and uh, I will hopefully see you back here uh, tomorrow uh, for Genshin Night, and I will get Wolf back in some way for <laughs> making a whole Baby Got Back song about me. <laughs> I'll just act extra ditzy. It'll just be extra blonde night. Um, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, I Thanks love you for guys. hanging out the whole night, Lemon. Yeah, thank you for being here, Lemon. I super appreciate it. That was really nice of you. Um, <laughs> get the fuck out of here, Wolf. I'm sending you guys over. <laughs> Goodbye. I love you guys. I'll see you on Twitter. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I can't. I cannot. He's like